Hello, Internet, and welcome to Neon Souls. Uh, thanks for joining us on this lovely Friday afternoon. It's the weekend, probably for everyone out there. I don't know time zones, but thank you for being here. Uh, we are going to get started. We got Morgan back this week with Clarity. Uh, find out how things were in Latvia, Lithuania. We went back and forth between the two. Uh, first uh, announcement, though, before we get going, you saw our schedule. Join us for all of our games. Uh, we have art all over the place. You can see all of the faces and stuff on here, and you'll see it during the break. Uh, but we had art commissioned for us by... Uh, Uis, I, what's the, do you have the Twitter handle, Savannah? Um, cause I realized I lost it once we transitioned. Yeah, I'm going to link it in the chat. Okay. Link in the chat, in the chat. It's amazing. We're super happy about it. All you guys look fantastic. Impulse covered in neon. It's awesome. I get to look at it the entire game cause I got the overlay and stuff here. So, uh, yeah, I'm super stoked about it and they did a fantastic job. If you're looking to have art commissioned, uh, go check them out. Um, our next stream after this will be tomorrow. That is Saturday night's uh, Apocalypse. We are playing the Prince of the Apocalypse campaign set in a post-apocalyptic version of the Sword Coast. Uh, there are zombies uh, and some sort of mysterious corporation centered around the aesthetic of a rain-stopping device uh, has the Umbrella Corporation is in it. It's, it's wild. Uh, anyway, so uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, come, come check it out. Uh, we have uh, also, uh, if you didn't check out earlier today, every Friday, uh, Savannah is going to be uh, running a game over and kind of role play. If you missed the the premiere of it was today. It's called Diesel Punks. Uh, it's at three o'clock uh, every Friday for the next seven weeks after this, uh, and it was. Uh, a hoot and a half. I watched, I caught a pretty good chunk of it uh, when I was not working. Uh, and uh, it was a lot you of fun. You know work with watches this, right? No, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably not. Hopefully not. Uh, so yeah, uh, but GB's there, Rob's there. You recognize from the channel and it was a lot of fun. Uh, and then you've got another game coming on, Savannah. Uh, not this Monday, but the next Monday. Over on Cobalt Press's uh, Twitch channel. Uh, what is the, does that have a name yet? Yeah, it's called A Lesson in Deep Magics. Um, we were, well, we were gonna have our premiere this Monday, but somebody went and got laryngitis, so they can't DM a game this week. Oh, uh, no, but uh, Lydia is gonna get to feeling better, and we're gonna start on Monday the 17th at 8 p.m eastern time um that one's gonna go for 16 weeks and we are using their new uh deep magics D, D supplement um i'm gonna post a link in the chat to this as well if you guys haven't bought this book it's got 700 spells in it and the orgasm spell and the orgasm spell there's a spell called throws of ecstasy in it but you have to buy the book to find out what it says. Um, and yeah. there's also a ton of new cleric domains and patrons and subclasses and schools of magic. There's all kinds of new, like totally, totally new schools of magic that all the casters can use. There's clockwork magic, there's apocalypse magic, there's time magic. Anyway, it's a rad book and we're gonna be playing it. And I'm gonna be playing a hippie cleric who loves the moon. <laughs> Uh, so come join us for that. Uh, I'm gonna let these fools introduce themselves and uh, talk about what they're doing and where they're going and uh, who they are. Uh, start with GB. Graybeard, Graybeard, Stavern, and tonight I'll be playing Klaxon, the uh, drone jockey, and uh, let me let me try it the other way, the vector thrust panzer driver. So um, that's uh, that's me. Check my Twitter for all the all the games and. Assorted uh, silliness. All right. Um, I'm Morgan, also known as Imagine Matrix on the internet. I'm playing Clarity the Hacker. And if you're interested in the cosplays and stuff that I do, you can always check me out at Imagine Matrix everywhere. 
You've heard me talk already. I'm Savvy at Savvy Seaworth on uh, Twitter, and also I exist on Discord sometimes. Yeah, come join me uh, Fridays on Encounter Roleplay, and then uh, Mondays on twitch.tv slash Cobalt Press. And uh, I'll link the book every other day. I'm here. My schedule is also pinned to my Twitter. And I'm Christina Sid. You can find me on the Twitters at Greek Sid, usually shitposting or talking about this channel. Uh, I'm a GTK exclusive currently, so you can find me next on Sunday for Slang 101. Yay! Uh, that's 4 o'clock Eastern. And uh, every other Thursday for Elegant Suffering. Uh, the wiki is out. It is getting updated. I am so excited. There are letters. There's wonderful things. So check that out for sure, because damn, we need it. There's just so much. Uh, today I am playing uh, Impulse, the reporter, and uh, let's see who else is my ex this week, shall we? <laughs> uh, and I am Sean, the Kraken King, here and everywhere else. I am in everything on this channel. You can check out my uh, schedule on my Twitter. Everyone did not just see me almost knock over my drink. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm the MC of this game, and let's get started so last time on neon souls uh we did another job which we haven't do we name it yet can't remember if we came up with a name last week for this operation i don't think we did i don't think so not yet uh, i think ryan said something but i forget what it was i Shit. don't know whatever it was it was probably incredibly horny uh the yep. <laughs> uh so last week you had received a job to uh destroy a server bank in the north bay arcology uh belonging to uh omnitrust uh you had come up with a plan uh clarity uh pieced out to go to latvia to or across the street or wherever uh to do her own thing and uh in order to fill that void within your team uh you uh teamed up with a, a former acquaintance of choke a uh, cyber ninja named mouse uh you came up with this plan to uh, cause a, a water leak within the um, the facility within the arcology and to pose as a cleanup crew or a maintenance crew to uh, come in and take care of the problem uh the mission went off with uh nary a hitch uh you went in got in cleanly uh you had a brief scuffle with some of the uh aries aegis uh personnel that were uh uh, contracted to work out of this uh, uh, out of this server bank, uh, this this arcology, uh, stole their hover cart, uh, used that hover cart to uh, avoid some of the uh, pressure sensors in the building that you hacked your way into with Claxon's help, uh, negated all the other security measures, lit up the server bank with with just guns lots of shooting destroyed it uh and you made a clean escape uh however upon making your escape and getting paid for the job you did learn through a news broadcast that impulse picked up that uh this server facility the storage facility specifically the one being uh owned by omnitrust was uh the subject of an investigation uh, one resulting from the murder of a uh, catechism developer named Gerald Oliva. Uh, you figuring out that your uh, employer may have somehow been trying to cover up this murder. Uh, we're given a new task. Your own doing. You don't have to do it. Nobody's paying you to do this, but uh, I gave you a task to uh, investigate this uh, this murder. Um, so that's where we kind of pick up today as you are all back at the workshop. Uh, you have this mission, which you can choose to accept if you want. Uh, some XP involved if you guys want to pursue that. Uh, if you don't, there may be some consequences as you were directly involved with the cover-up and have no, uh, no one else to pin this on. Um, 
You also have a couple other jobs. You have uh, Scooter has asked you to uh, recover a stolen shipment uh, for him in order to uh, get some sweet tech. Uh, You have also uh, a repo job on Klaxon uh, from Renata, also called the Warden, to uh, recover some tech that Claxon has stolen from Ares Aegis. Uh, and then Phoebus wants to go on a date with uh, Clarity. So uh, those are your other side jobs. I've only, only one of those jobs is one that I created. The rest of them are all bullshit that you guys have come up with. So uh, what would you guys like to do? Um, I assume everybody's just chilling around the, uh, the workshop right now. By the way, it was Operation Inevitable Violence. Inevitable Violence, okay. I feel like Clarity, like, after their mission is complete, just kind of, like, swaggers into the place with her bag, her overnight bag over her shoulder, and it's just like, hey, guys. Hey. What's You're up? back. Yeah, Estonia wasn't that interesting, so. I thought it was Latvia. Or Lithu- it was the Baltic state, so I'm wow. just not quite sure which one. Mm. Well, you got back really fast, so... Yeah, like I said, it was really boring. It just wasn't for me, so... I mean, I thought there would be a lot to see there, and there wasn't. So... Can I help you with your bag? Oh, no, it's... The, no, it's not that heavy. Thanks, though. Bye. And she just goes off to her little closet. And I send Spider Ball after the tracker that was on <laughs> that it had originally put on on her bag. Oh yeah, we did put a tracker on her. Where did she actually oh, go? Yeah, that's um, that's actually a good question. He did put a tracker. So yeah, did she did actually did she actually go, or was she just across the street? She went to a building that is a few blocks away that is seemingly abandoned. Okay. And that's it. Awesome. <laughs> as soon as she leaves, just like lean over to Klaxon. Um, where was she? Latvia. He, he, he smiles like, no, I'm kidding. Um, he's like, gives an address and you know it's like, like the 400 block down the way. <laughs> from us or whatever good to know well we all have our secrets <laughs> for now uh so i hear uh oh no i haven't heard never mind i'm not gonna say anything you're about so, to <laughs> oh okay <laughs> i guess I'll, so um uh scooter needed us to find out like who robbed him and stuff right so we can get our stuff Actually, before we get to that one, there's something I think we should talk about as a group. I'm like looking at Claxon. Okay. He's looking sheepish. I mean, it was gonna happen anyway. Like, and he came on to me first, so I'm sorry. I'm well, no, I'm not sorry. I'm not apologizing. And now I'm looking at Claxon like, <laughs> was that well- not? What are you talking about? Forget I said I, anything. What did I, you need to talk about? Clarity like comes out of her closet and it's like who 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 hit on who came on to who now? He came on to me. They always come on to me. Okay, so what were you talking about then? We have a uh, slight issue. So I went to a contact of mine for information to help us get in on this last job and she's not the type to do things for free so I took a job for her easy I can do it myself usually repo work Uh, but uh, we know the target who has stolen company property Blackson's hiding in his (laughs) his tech vest and by the look on his face, it's a lot, and it's here. 
for a moment until she sees Clax and like hide in her stuff, she gets really this big worried look on her face. <laughs> oh, oh, you <laughs> got it. Okay. Wait, so Claxon is who you're going after? Yeah. I mean, that sounds like a really easy job. Well, I could just take all of his stuff by force. That would be kind of a bummer, though. Then we wouldn't have any of his stuff. Yeah. And particularly since a lot of it's in my skull. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be a double bummer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that sucks. Okay, well, what exactly do you need to, like, what's what's proof? You just have to bring back the equipment, or? Right. We could say he exploded. They might buy that one. I mean, things that are exploded, you usually can't, can't bring the stuff back, so. Well, the real question I have is, they know you have it, are they tracking it? Uh, I doubt it. It's encrypted. They just know you're the one that took it. Yeah. After my last mission, I was supposed to, you know, go to the docks and have it removed and all that. And, well, I just kind of left. So you see my problem. Mm. If I don't do this job, it's, it's really going to burn a bridge. Hmm. Well, I think Claire has a really good point. So if you go after him and, I don't know, he detonates himself in some sort of protest and then destroys all of the tech, all we'd really need to do is blow something up, have some badly burned tech, and get out a story that he died. Easy. You could leave some body parts behind. That would probably be best, but... I don't know if that'd be best for Claxon. Do you have- Not if they're my body parts. <laughs> Wait, do you have, like, body parts lying around? Me? Yes. No. Not right now. I mean, never. I wouldn't have body parts. Okay, so where are we gonna get the, the body That's parts? question. Um... I don't know. Claxon doesn't have any, like, removable body parts, does he? No. They're all mine. <laughs> I'd like to keep them that way. <laughs> and he's, scro he's scrolling through, like, a tablet or whatever, trying to look for anywhere that has a currently active war zone, thinking maybe we could, like, get in there and get some parts, <laughs> both body and, and you know, the the mechanics like well, you mean, know something shot down over a latvia and <laughs> we could sneak in and get the stuff from them that are already dead um, no offense but i think like flying into an active war zone is again i feel like i say this every time we take a job a bit above our pay grade <laughs> just a bit well i don't know i mean impulse you're on the fucking internet all the time can we just do it? can we fake it you know some camera tricks just make him look dead oh definitely it's just if you have to bring back the tech if hmm, how do we put this to make him look dead enough to for it to make sense that the tech was completely destroyed we might actually have to take some body parts off of Claxon, which I don't think you really want to do. So there's only so much that movie magic can do for us in this situation. Is um, this, are we really, I'm about to say an idea, but I don't want to say it if we're not actually pursuing this as our best option. <laughs> I mean, what else can you do? I mean, there's got to be a morgue somewhere nearby, right? Oh, I can find a morgue. If we could find, if we find someone who had the same interface or even close, we could shear it in half or blow it up or melt it down or make it unrecognizable. Yeah. yeah. So looking I mean, for pilots. At the very least, you know, destroy some serial numbers. 
Clarity's just gonna start with her eyes googling any recent like mi military deaths of no of everyone has google glass in the future <laughs> no. <laughs> no. how did Just we clarity. get how did we get here it, we are about 20 minutes into this stream <laughs> how did we get to let's find a dead pilot steal his body and blow it up and put it on the internet <laughs> I haven't we're, said we're, a word since the <laughs> session. I, know. I don't know what uh, is happening. No, nope. you. I'm so sorry. I just you know how I've been like this. getting caught up in my emails. And you know how savvy feels on Sundays. Here's a thing. Go. Oh man. Make it um, way more complicated than it probably has to be. Okay, you want to research uh, some like accent like. Active conflict deaths, like military, like accidental uh, death, like plane crashes. Yes, to all. Okay, all. All right. Just like uh, Googling. Dead What's... pilot, you know? <laughs> Maybe they have a society. You. I'm trying to think. I don't think it's interesting for me to make you roll for that because that's just, <laughs> you're just looking for information. So yeah. here's what I will give you then. There are. Of just looking around, there's a, there's always some sort of conflict. There are a lot of like shadow wars between corporations that are like broadcast or televised as being like border conflicts and other like you know insurgencies, things like that. But it's it's all, and I think most of you would know this. Everyone really knows is that they're usually turf disputes from corporations that are done through like third party companies that they hire to fight each other on their behalf um so yeah there's plenty to choose from i think what you would know uh in your google is uh, like in your preliminary research uh and you can roll to get deeper information uh yeah. there most of the uh bodies would be uh I'm going to make the decision that they probably aren't burying people anymore. Uh, I think most people are cremated. I was going to say incinerated, which is probably the terminology <laughs> that they would actually use. Uh, but cremated is the nice word that they use for it. Uh, and most of that, as far as like soldiers, would be handled through Ares Aegis. Um, so... If you want any deeper information, or if there's any other like specific questions, you could roll to research those processes. Um, but hey, Claxon, what kind of tech do you got in your head? Let me see. It is the. Let me see as he rips it out of his own head. That he... <laughs> oh, that was easy. Um... What's the question again? It's called a neural interface with oh. remote uh, vehicle control. Allows direct neural control of uh, appropriately configured external device, blah, 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 vehicles, uh, tech systems, cool. so on and so forth. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna try and, and see if I can get some more information and if anyone who's died recently has that specific neural interface. Okay. Uh, yeah, roll to research. Okay, what's that with? Uh, mind. Okay, plus two. Let's see. That's ten. Nice. Uh, so research on a ten plus, you get intel. So mark an intel on your sheet. Cool. And you also, I get, I will answer your question and a follow-up question that you have uh, from a list there. So your specific question is, you're looking for where can I find somebody uh, that has this interface that's died recently. Am I right? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you... This probably takes a little bit more than just like a Google search. You probably actually have to get into the Aries Aegis systems. Um, uh, not necessarily like hacking into it, but uh go on their website you probably have some sort of like profile set up there that you can get into their uh like more of their databases uh and yeah you 
you find that there are a couple of recently acquired or recently delivered uh, corpses that have been sent in for processing. Um, they, uh, one of them is a, a aerial drone pilot. Um, one of them is a, uh, we'll say like a drone maintenance worker. Uh, we'll say it's those two. So like an aerial combat, uh, pilot who would interface with like jet fighters and those sort of things. Uh, and then another one who's like a maintenance worker, uh, who got, uh, who, who do like drone control. Uh, We'll say for the sake of simplicity, because you're only looking for people that match like the physical description of Claxon. They're both male. Uh, they're both around the same age as Claxon. Okay. So this is what I've got. Um, whichever one you guys want to go with it should probably be soon, because I'm imagining that they'll probably be uh, disposed of soon-ish. Um, but yeah, it looks like we have a few options for a dead body to film exploding. Uh, if you have a follow-up question that you want to ask from that list, uh, you can. Uh, or you can hold on to it for a bit if you want. I guess my follow-up question... Uh, what do you guys think? Is there anything else I should be looking for here? Like, Claxon, you've got an inside scoop on what your own dead body should look like. Yeah, uh, and this was... Sorry, uh, research? Mm -hmm. Um, how secure? Oh yeah, it's where the yeah. body's stored. Yeah. yeah, so I guess where the bodies are stored. Okay. Or how secure uh, is where they're stored is. Yeah, so they are processed through a main... Uh, like a ha like a, a main facility off of the bay, um, probably not too far from the North Bay Arcology. Um, actually, let's say it's a part of the North Bay Arcology because uh, that's a pretty big spot and there's a lot of things going on there. Uh, it's a pretty secure facility because this isn't necessarily like a hangar and they don't like deploy from here. Uh, this is more for like tech processing uh, because the process that they go through is when the bodies come in they take the tech out of them so they can be repurposed for other things. Uh, and then, and then they deal with the bodies. Um, so, uh, I would say it's secure enough. It's the kind of security that you would expect around mid level, not top secret, but valuable tech that they don't want getting, uh, taken. So you could expect some surveillance, some, uh, um, some patrols they're probably security on site uh but not at the same level as like the data storage that you just dealt with i think if we were to do this we would need a way to convince them that they accidentally incinerated a body while the tech was still in them just because otherwise a missing body from the arcology plus a video of someone exploding in a similar body being found elsewhere might be suspicious but i think i totally could probably hack it and make it look like the body was incinerated and someone just messed up on their end is there do they do the incineration on site yeah oh i was hoping we could catch him in transit somewhere mm. but, mm. Uh, I, yeah, I think based on their resources, I think they do everything on site. Flamethrower testing and <laughs> other oh, boy. Yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh. There's probably some of that, to be honest, but I think most of them are, are probably just like, they probably just have a big incinerator. I may have a rather diabolical idea so we need to make it seem like Claxon has died we also have to deal with whatever assholes stole from Scooter so 
do we find that out first and then have them blamed for potentially murdering someone? That would most assuredly take them out of business at the very least. I'd say so. It's not Sounds the direction I thought you were going to be going with that. <laughs> no, I thought we were going to kill that person and use their body, but I like this one better. <laughs> I mean, we could do that too, but they would have to have very specific tech. So, I mean, if if by sheer coincidence that was the case, great, but I don't think that's going to happen. No, I oh, we could check. The at the same time, just because I would really like the knife. Yeah, I would very much like this gun. Okay, so yeah, yeah. let's check it out. We do this frame that person for murder we st we steal a body blow it up film it pretend Clarkson's dead find who robbed Scooter frame him for murder we might have to find out who did that to Scooter first so we can kind hey. of coordinate like the, the order's not super important to me uh, fair enough <laughs> That's seems laughing. fair not black, so just... just point me I'm the gun, just point me where you want me to shoot. All right, well. If you wanna find out who uh, screwed over Scooter, I could probably start looking into that too. I might be able to ask around as well, if you, you wanna look. Yeah, so we should get a move on stealing a body though, if we're gonna do that. Right. So we don't miss that window. Okay. So we get a body, and then where are we gonna put it before we blow it up? Well, there's nothing in the freezer because the only food we keep here is those dried noodles. Yeah, that's oh. what I was gonna say. Will it fit? I mean, Pretty we're gonna freezer. We're gonna I can blow make it, it up. So yeah, I mean, does it need to be a one piece? You are the expert. I will leave that to you. <clears throat> uh, all right, let's. Uh, Go get a body. Laxon oh. makes sure that he brings a reciprocating saw on this mission. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Make sure he gets that off the thing, wraps the cord. And... That's <laughs> like... probably actually the better plan. We should find it, take it, disassemble <laughs> it, then bring it. Back. When did this become so the not... fourth season of Hannibal? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, that last season of Dexter really went off the rails. There were all those new characters. It's true. So, so he walks back and he gets a tarp. I don't know if we need to cut up the body first. Well, will just easier to transport. There. Yeah, only yeah, otherwise I'm going to carry a whole body. Messy if we do it there. They might spec something if there's there's unless they have an area for that. Ooh, is that our inn? Do we have to pose as employees and get inside? I mean, that's usually how, what we have to do. I'm going to add Isn't something that might make this more... always disguises with you people. I might add something to make this more interesting, too. Uh, to preserve the tech, oh, I'm going to say... it's super boring right now. No, no. I'm going to say, be, to make this a, a... Like, to make cutting up the body or maybe to throw a wrinkle in it. I don't know, but it sounds reasonable. Uh, they uh freeze the bodies in like liquid nitrogen to transport them uh that to keep them sense. from uh going bad on transport oh well if they're cold enough they'll just fucking shatter them that's easy 292 below zero will do that to a human to yeah, a, we don't, an anything really we don't want it in too many pieces though. why it's supposed to be exploded yeah, I guess. And once it melts, it's like already pre-exploded. Well, see, that's the question. Are we like gonna full on like film this <laughs> happening, or are we like filming just the end result? I think we can modify that... with whatever we actually end Jeez. up with. So if we end up with like a full body, I can work with that. I can work with a full body. But if we end up with like disparate pieces of a body, I can also work with that. I'm very flexible. Oh, okay, so we'll just wing it. Sure. We'll wing this particular crime. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, this is all kind of above my head as as computer person. So um, what what do I need to do to get you guys in there? I guess. All right. Um, 
<gasps> Info on whoever works there? The incinerator's broken. Oh, I could do that. We are just going to do the same, same plan. Fit. Is it this our bit? Every, <laughs> every time we're different uniforms, aren't we? We're going to go in, we're going to break something, then we're going to pose as the people fixing it, we're going to get in, we're going to fuck everything up, and then we're going to leave. But the thing is, they do that in every heist movie. It always <laughs> <I know>. works. <laughs> it's just gonna we say. only know the one plan. We all... <laughs> There was like four seasons of A-Team, and they were always the same plan. I'm Just wait. We're going to get to episode 10, and every repair service has gone out of business in this city. They've just been clean now. It's just, no I'm more. very distressed that I'm sort of getting used to wearing jumpsuits. <laughs> <laughs> And and we just uh, and and you know Claxon has set them all up so they just got the Velcro to put different patches just, on them just like the military good. does. Let's so, do this know. plan. God, and so the mission that you guys just ran was just a test. It was a dry run for for this. <laughs> for this. Oh yeah. All the right. Ultimate crime. Um, okay. Not even getting paid. Well, the good thing is we can do this efficiently because you've done this <laughs> once before. So figure out who the security, who the repair company is that yes. handles this somehow turn off the and make the break the incinerator come in pretend uh, conveniently like you were in the area to fix it steal a body run away with the body mm -hmm. all right yeah. cool the same thing we do every day pinky <laughs> All steal right. bodies and pretend to <laughs> fix stuff. Maybe you guys will roll worse this time, so it'll be more interesting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the thing that's going to get us all arrested. Yeah, so, 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 yeah. So it, it sounds to me like you need Clarity to do the hack. Or Clarity's going to do hacking into the um, into the facility to try to shut down the incinerator. Uh, while the rest of you get your equipment together, I'm gonna cut out the like part where we have to do the pretending. You guys figure out what company handles it. The, we know somebody how to give do me, this now. Somebody <laughs> give me a name for a incinerator repair company. Randy's Repairs. <laughs> Incinerific. Mm, that's their tagline. All right, like Randy's Repairs. Okay. Incinerific. Are oh, there so boy. many incinerators that it is like that's a viable business? It's like we do repairs, but only incinerators. Well, I'm always, assuming we do have an overpopulation problem in 22. Yeah. 20, they also oh, like, or they Randy also, just has like weird interests. Well, they also fix commercial grade barbecues. So <laughs> wait, wait. there's oh, a, propane, a propane sideline. and oh, propane that. accessories. The Hank Hill thing. Uh, propane and propane <laughs> accessories. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. <laughs> incinerator and incinerator accessories. <laughs> Except if you yeah. get the guy, the tech that's just come from the incinerator job to handle your grill Barbecue. job. <laughs> your, your we have job. a uh, redemption in the chat. Okay. Um, your friend of mine, Mecca Spider. Hey, Mecca, thank you. Uh, it is a payday for impulse. You get a gear. <gasps> thank you. Ooh, you nice. Oh my goodness. Nice. Uh, that might help. Gear. Yeah. We might need something. <laughs> we need gear. We always get there and then go, oh, shit, we didn't think of that. <laughs> yeah. Gear's super useful. Um, okay. So let's go ahead. You guys You guys follow the same routine. You get the truck outfitted. You get your uniforms. You've got Randy's repairs on them. Uh, and you've got the... Can the incinerific be like written in smoke? Yes. Yes, I like it. Wait, which one of us is Randy? You can be Randy. I can be Randy. Oh yeah, Impulse is probably better, Randy. Hey, I watched this week. Y'all are all Randy. <laughs> hey! <laughs> we are all Randy. I'm Randy. <laughs> I am Randy. I am Randy. <laughs> all, right. all Randy all the time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we all just said the words I am Randy and I can be Randy like a lot of times. <laughs> Lots of Randy. That's a lot of good clips for uh, oh, no. this week. Put that one right on the reel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, you have uh, you have your gear, you guys get outfitted and situated with the truck. Uh, let's go ahead and Clarity, we'll go ahead and do your 
hacking stuff. I'm trying to get through this part fast because this is like the first step of a like a three step job that you guys are doing. Uh, so you want to get to the body snatch? <laughs> yeah, well, I want to get to the f the murder part uh, that you guys yeah, are about me to get too. into. Um, okay, so uh, clarity. Let's do uh, login to try to hack into the uh, Aegis uh, network. I use synth for logging in, right? It's Correct. Been, it's been two weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, synth to, it's been a to while. log in. <laughs> okay, so that's plus one. That is seven. Seven. Okay, that's a success. So Wait, no. I'm, yeah, it's a seven. I'm sorry. I can do math. <laughs> uh so with a seven uh it's you're in but you choose one so either passive trace uh add plus one to your trace uh ice is activated an alert is triggered which will advance the active mission clock you're out on a mission right now um i should have probably this game doesn't really have anything for impromptu missions or missions that you guys create uh but i will probably i'm gonna track this as a legwork clock uh and your access is restrict, or your access is restricted, and you take negative one ongoing. Uh, let's do. There's a trace. Okay, so plus one trace, uh, which you've got stealth on your rig, so you're, you should yeah. be okay at plus one. Um, all right, so you're in, and you are trying to disable a system, so. I am, I think manipulate systems is the yes. roll for that. Yes. Yeah, when you attempt to manipulate a digitally controlled aspect of a facility, roll synth. Okay. Let's see, so that's plus one. That is a nine. Okay. Uh, with a nine, you get one hold. And so you can spend one hold to activate routines of that subsystem. Uh, so I'm gonna give you an option for this. You can either activate a routine to just shut it down, or you can activate a routine to overload it uh, to the point where it actually breaks. Um, my assumption is that you guys want to do the actual breaking, but, yeah. or would you just rather digitally just want to lock it off? Well, I also have programming on the fly, so I get another plus one, it says ah. hold. One, so. Cool. So you can hold uh, on to that too to do something else. Cool. So for now, I'm trying to I'm trying to shut down the incinerator, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, and like I said, I assume you guys are trying to actually break the incinerator. Yep. So I want to say I just like overload it, like it's everything mostly is digital i just like overload it with junk okay and yeah make it overheat essentially i think you get a security <laughs> feed of the inside of the building and you see uh there's this like industrial uh looking steel room uh and set into the back wall there's just this massive incinerator that has these huge drawers that come in and out of it uh and you see someone like taking a uh, uh like a big box of looks like like industrial debris and stuff and like dumping it in there they go they they push it in the guy turns around to to walk away and suddenly the flames just come shooting out of every crack in this uh in this machine and they like hit the ground uh and look back and you're seeing like smoke coming out of it and the guy goes running and like a fire alarm goes off and like sprinklers start spraying down to try to turn it off and there's just like panic going on in this room uh the the camera gets a little bit like uh foggy from the smoke and then you lose visual on what's happening so it seems like it worked I did it. Sweet. All right. Yeah. So uh, Randy's repairs is ready to repair or whatever you guys are going to do. Great. Stay the corpse. I guess I'll wait here in the van. Well, I figured we all go in the van. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So we'll just make this quick. Yeah. I was assuming you, you know, guys are probably already... Body. Uh, in the van, yeah. like nearby, yeah. so yeah, all loaded up, sitting, sitting, crowded in the van with your 
coveralls on, and uh, oh, I'm 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 already wearing my repair person wig, so it, it it's fine. We'll, we'll leave it. It's, it's good. <laughs> it looks good. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so um, yeah, we have our comms, and if you guys need anything, I guess I can look at the security cameras. I uh, I put like decals on Rosie, so now she's got like flames shooting off of her and stuff so she's like you know like incinerate uh, incinerific you know like all over her so she looks uh she's branded now <laughs> incinerific <laughs> incinerific <laughs> oh man uh i I'm imagine just it. imagining brandy sounding like macho man randy savage <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh god all right then you gotta be randy because i don't fucking do much <laughs> I could really try. I think it's going to come out sounding like the Kool-Aid man, though. So I don't know if I want to try it. They're very similar. Very, very similar. I want to come up with that. It actually is Macho Man Randy Savage. Like, <gasps> in the few, like their brand ended up like this was the, this is the natural evolution of the Macho Man Randy Savage uh, brand. Brand. Uh, All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything has their face on it. Oh boy! Amazing. Uh, so you guys uh, are back at the arcology, and you come uh, pulling in to there is like a single uh, security checkpoint gate that goes into this facility, which is uh, a pretty plain looking building. It's a single large, uh, short uh, industrial warehouse. Um, not many windows on the outside of it, uh, but you come pulling up, and there are two Aegis uh, security guards that are. Uh, posted at the gate and one of them uh leans over and hits the intercom uh and uh, looks at us and says what is everything I, I i don't have a work order in or, or, we got a call randy's repairs randy's hold on a second uh and at that moment you hear a er er uh, and there's like a, uh, a a fire alarm going off of the building. You see a little bit of smoke trailing out from a hangar door that gets like thrown open. Uh, and the other guy like taps him on the shoulder and gestures to him. He goes, "Oh shit, you guys! It's all digital now. You're fast. We know but... before you do. <laughs> Go ahead. It's it's incinerific." <laughs> And he breaks in Slim Jim, <laughs> Claxon, not even trying to do the voice because he doesn't have any ability in that whatsoever. <laughs> uh, go to roll a fast talk. I don't uh, know if I should be really proud of myself or very ashamed. It was but very oh, good. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, fast talk. Do I get a plus one for doing the voice? No. <laughs> All right, seven. Uh, NBCs do it, but someone will find out. Uh, NBC will advance the appropriate countdown clock. Literally exactly what happened last time. Yeah, that is what happened last time. Um, so with the, I think it's with the panic and everything, they, they stop thinking. They're just both looking at, the, uh, at these hangar as people are filing out, like coughing and trying to wave the smoke out of their faces. And it just goes, yeah. Um, yeah, go, uh, go, go, take care. He hits a button and the gate swings open. Oh like, shit! What's We've got on? you covered. Uh, and so yeah, you just go cruising on in uh, without a much of a second second thought. Uh, you come pulling up, uh, kind of setting down uh, next to this huge hangar door. It's open with smoke trailing out of it. Uh, a small crowd of like ten or so people uh, are kind of standing out here somebody pulled the fire alarm and nobody knows what to do when the fire alarm goes off because they haven't done a fire safety drill in like three years and <laughs> tasha's supposed to be handling the the drills for it and she hasn't been doing it so anyway yeah all right impulse crowd control choke grab that giant pry bar and we'll go in with rosie clarity keep on lookout Come on, Rosie. And show Go ahead and clear it. out, people. We're going to be taking care of this in a moment. Clear out. <laughs> so All right. Good. Impulse. I like this character. 
<laughs> I do too. Uh, so Klaxon, Rosie, Choke, and Impulse are going inside. Well, Impulse is is making sure it's, they stay back, okay. and then and then we're gonna go in and, and grab the stuff. So. Okay. God, I should have gotten another alarm sound. I every week I need alarm sound. Every week I'm like, I probably won't need an alarm this week, so I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> Just need to do it. Oh man. Anyway, uh, so yeah, Rosie Claxon choke. Uh, heading in Claxon choke with this droid uh hovering beneath you uh or between you uh you head in and i this have a giant pry bar okay uh the smoke is pretty dense and there are some people that, that you see like one of the uh security guards is currently in there trying to get people to come out it's actually wearing a respirator uh and uh has a uh, a weapon that's currently strapped uh to his back but isn't using it is trying to like get people out of the building as you see workers and people and more like normal business attire uh, are trying to make their way out and he turns to you through the respirator and says uh oh uh y'all here for the repairs randy's right oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah says. <laughs> right uh i'll take you to the incinerator room uh it's where the smoke is coming from come on this way uh and starts uh, leading you back into the building uh, and around a corner and into that big industrial room with the incinerator, which you can see is like there's a small, there are like puddles of water all over the room. Everything's like damp, uh, a little bit of steam and smoke mixed in uh, and the big incinerator that's currently overheated and uh, busted in the back and the guard wa uh, swipes a key card, the, the door opens, he leads you in. Uh, most of the other doors are open right now. It's like the security protocol, the alarms are going off. Uh, it seems like that has overridden most of the uh, security system. Uh, so he uh, uh, he opens this one, leads you in, and then closes it again uh, to keep any more smoke from coming out. And uh, says, I'll be keeping an eye on here. Uh, Y'all do what you need to do. All right. And then uh, we um, <laughs> basically, uh, Claxon's got some garbage bags that we're going to end up putting the body in and the reciprocating saw and the pry bar, like a toolbox full of the stuff we think we'll need. Um, and uh, we go find the body. So you guys are in the incinerator room right now because the guard has led you here. Uh, the bodies are not in here, uh, oh, but the security guard is guy. standing by the door. Uh, mm keeping an eye on you but he's in the room with us uh he is i'll say he what he's waiting outside the door he's let you in and then he is uh currently standing on the other side of it with the door closed can between I, you can i see the security system like where is the, like how security alarms would work and see if i can trigger one in another part of the building yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, I think that would work for just manipulate systems. Because uh, okay. I don't think... Well, because there's also compromise security. We it's know how much Clarity loves fire alarms. <laughs> this is uh, on brand. No, I think manipulate systems will work here because you're actually triggering, triggering a physical alarm. You still have a hold. Uh, so you could mm -hmm. spend that last hold to uh, activate a security measure somewhere else in the building if you want. Okay, I'm um, deciding if I want to spend the hold or not. Yeah, I'll go ahead and spend the hold on the security system and just activating it so it goes off somewhere else in the building is like all personnel to Spectre or whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, suddenly underneath the fire alarm that's going off and there's this red light that keeps pulsating and flashing from the corner of the room where the, uh, the, the siren is, uh, that continues to go and then there is this blue light that begins to like strobe out in the hall and you can hear uh, another uh system is going off and uh the uh i think you just hear a a more soothing voice kind of over the intercom a like a like an ai it's just biocontainment leak on level two biocontainment leak on level two uh and the guard suddenly just like looks up, looks back towards the room, uh, and then just goes sprinting down the hall. Uh, <laughs> nice. Claire, the over there, well over, done, Claire. Over there, like, thing is like, 
You're welcome. Thanks. So where are we going? Bio freeze. Yeah. Let's go, I guess. Uh... Can I like see the overview of the thing? Yeah. No, uh, you're okay. you're still logged in, so I think you can easily handle that. Uh yeah, you, you get like a little map you can use to guide people guide them to where they need to go. Okay guys, exit the incinerator and turn left. Okay. We follow the instructions. Okay. <laughs> she uh, tells them where to go. Hit the panel on Straight the wall. To hell. Doors slide open and you uh, head down. Luckily, all the doors are still open throughout the building. Um, so you don't have to worry about that right now. Um, and you turn left and head following Clarity's in direction. Are you actually giving good directions or do they like go down a dead end a couple of times and you have to wind them back around? She gives good directions. <laughs> okay. Uh, the uh, Eventually, you do reach the... Uh, what would this be? It's probably just marked as bio waste storage. Okay. Let's, let's find our guy. Mm -hmm. uh, you head in and there are, yeah, I think on one side of the room, there's a bunch of like uh, drawers and, and uh, like, like, uh, bins that have all this like discarded tech in it um, and then on the other side of the room is like morgue like there's a wall with a bunch of morgue drawers um, so if you take point all of you, all of you going through looking for the names and you find are you guys going for the pilot or are you guys going for the maintenance worker it doesn't matter I'm just curious maintenance worker nobody's gonna care where a yeah. pilot they might have second thoughts about. Burning him. Okay. That's fucked up. Uh, you uh, you come up and you, you find the drawer following Clarity's instructions and, and pull it open and you can see inside. Uh, the the body is still, for, like the drawer, like this this uh, uh, this gas comes out of it, pools across the floor from the like stored the freezing apparatus that's inside of each of these drawers and you see the mostly frozen body still of this uh, uh, this maintenance worker uh, they've got like a piece of shrapnel uh, lodged in their chest uh, and it looks like it's been their cause of death well thanks for your service pry bar break him up we'll put him in the garbage bags yeah you got it <laughs> okay uh you you start smashing the uh the body and uh you're trying to keep it in like big pieces yeah uh as they're doing that though clarity you're still on security cams uh you see a you see somebody that's approaching from down the hall that's actually walking down the uh, uh the hallway about to come past the room that they're in I'm still outside, like, like air traffic yeah. controller, like, getting people out, so. Yeah. Hey, hey, guys, there's someone approaching the room you're, uh, breaking the body up in. Um, and the doors are all still open, right? Yes. Sucks okay. to be them. Take John Doe and hide. Right. I'm gonna wait by the door. I'm gonna go and press my back up <laughs> against the, like, the wall by the door. Like wait and see if they come in. Okay. And Claxon, are you what are you doing? Closing the drawer? I'll, yeah, I'll close the drawer and like go hide behind where the bins are at or something. Like with the garbage bag full of pilot. Okay. I'm going to have let me change the music here a little bit. Let's go with this one. I sort of like this chill body snatching music. Yeah. It was just a little too peppy for me. This is a little more heist. Uh, it makes me feel like we're being very successful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to have you both act under pressure. I got a 10. I got a 9. Okay. So I think this works out in fiction because, Joke, you 
press yourself up against the wall, crowbar in hand, and waiting. You're hearing kind of the the so the splashing of somebody walking down the hallway. Uh, the intention being, if they come in, I'm probably gonna try to knock them out. <laughs> okay, uh, as uh, Claxon, as you. Yeah, I think this will be. Uh, you have a a bag full of a couple of body parts right now. The rest of it's in the drawer. You go ducking, kind of sliding behind this uh, this work table in the center of the room. Uh, as you do, you f- uh, kind of stumble. You also realize that Rosie uh, is still kind of hovering around you and and kind of like over by the drawer still. Uh, and i think yeah so you come sliding to the ground you look over and you see rosie still having no home and uh at the same time the bag that you were holding uh one uh as it hits the ground next to you i think just like a uh a finger breaks off of one of the hands and just goes like like sliding across the wet floor uh out until just like the middle of the room Okay. Uh, um, and the guard is like right there. They're about to be. Uh, you watch uh, as uh, I don't think you see it, Claxon. Uh, Clarity, and you probably don't see it yet, Joe, because they haven't come into the room. But Clarity, you see on security footage, uh, this guard has been stopping and kind of looking into the rooms uh, as they've come down this hallway, uh, and they come up to the. Uh, bio waste storage room uh and they peer in and then they look kind of towards the floor where there's a finger I, sitting on it i'll have i'll have rosie like take her arm out and go like like you know like oh a drone is picking it up in the hopes that the the flaming magnets and whatnot don't give her away that the person just goes oh thank god there's a robot to take care of that and i, and I don't it's somebody else's problem drive kind of thing um manipulate uh, i am uh i'm debating what role that would be <laughs> uh, the uh let's get paid. Because I'm either thinking it'd be act under pressure or I can't think of another another act under pressure. Yeah, for your control okay. of the droid of the of your robot. Keep calling it a droid. I've been watching too much Star Wars. Ooh, seven. Okay. Seven. Okay. Um. Uh, The uh, so the Rosie comes over. I don't think the guy doesn't like draws his gun. Uh, at this point, he's standing in the doorway, sees it happening. He's got his respirator on, so it's kind of hard to get their expression. Uh, and uh, <laughs> Rosie goes over and picks up the finger. I guess like deposits it inside of like a waste container, right? Like, exactly. Container, and like looks at it, and uh, I think kind of says something over his comms a bit. Uh, <clears throat> We have a uh, cleanup drawer, uh, droid, or uh, we have cleanup bot here on uh, level one. What designation is it? Huh. Uh, kind of takes a step towards the door and stops just at the edge of the frame. Like you can just barely see their their arms uh, choke, uh, and kind of gives a whistle towards the bot and uh, says, "Come here." Oh, have Rosie move over there. Uh, <clears throat> return to charging bay. Need to run diagnostics. Or actually, actually says that he's not talking to the bot because that wouldn't make sense. But he says, "Return to charging bay. Need to run diagnostics on a maintenance spot. I don't recognize it." Okay. Just start. He's slowly down the hall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, out into the hall. Uh, and he goes following behind Rosie. Uh, <laughs> so. Just run her into a wall repeatedly. <laughs> like. 
Uh, so you affect you. You don't have Rosie right now. You're you're controlling her. You I think you can access yeah. her because you know where exactly. she's at. Uh, but yeah, uh, she has left the room with the finger. <laughs> um, hey. Double time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and because of the way my uh, interface is functioned, it is multitaskable, uh -huh. so I can do other things while actually flying her so i'll uh yeah i'll 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 hold the bag whilst we finish just... <laughs> breaking the body up and chucking in the the double bag uh at this point yeah garbage bags all right you you put the body in the in the bag and uh you guys hock them over your shoulders and begin to uh make your way quickly out of the building and you reach the big hangar doors and uh you see uh, impulse still there directing traffic um and then yeah uh, at some point i'll i'll slowly but surely increase rosie's speed um so that the guy has to like walk faster and faster and faster until she gets into an open space and then she'll go up <laughs> because it's she's uh, uh like a hover she's got rotary uh lifts so um so yeah when they get in there she'll like start floating upward like <laughs> like she's really broken i think as it's going on because all these alarms going off i think they're kind of on edge as she starts going faster faster he says slow down slow stop 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 he like starts jogging and jogging after it and then after uh, you reach the the like the main hangar and she starts like being to hover up uh you hear the click and the like as he pulls out his weapon and uh trains it on uh rosie uh and uh should i get him you guys I, I, aren't I'll in the same you guys are out at the oh well, that's right, right. yeah uh uh i'll uh, she doesn't have a speaker I can talk over. If she did, it'd be great. Um, I'll 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 go. Hey, Clarity, can you can you say biohazard alarm in such and such a bay wherever Rosie's at? Like biohazard uh, malfunctioning droid. You know. Uh, all personnel evacuate something like that uh let me go ahead and see what i can do um so i guess i'll roll okay yeah i think that. this would be another manipulate systems okay cool do, do, do. manipulate systems that's another synth roll yes okay. just need to double check every single time <laughs> Okay, so that is nine. Okay, you got one hold. Cool. Which I guess you get two hold because you're special. Yeah, I get two hold. Because you're specialized. Specialized, that's the all. Specialized. Okay, so. <laughs> I have yeah, to gonna. My go brain's ahead. lyrics. I'm sorry. <laughs> gonna go ahead and. Uh, um, can I, like do a custom ai sounding voice yes <laughs> something that sounds like clarity's voice but only if you know clarity comes over the intercom and says biohazard all personnel evacuate the area malfunctioning droid biohazard all personnel <laughs> exit the area <laughs> just over and over again okay and I'll start to wing Rosie like side to side and stuff like like she's just gonna explode in the middle of the air. Yeah, this is too funny for me to make it there be another role here. So I think you guys have succeeded enough. Uh, <laughs> you you activate the the system here and uh, cover the intercom and uh, relaying this message. You see the guard; they had their weapon trained, and then they just freeze, and they like look towards the wall, and it's like the the alarm system like, says bay three or so looks over it sees the the number on the wall and just like begins to back and like run out of the room as fast as they can uh yeah that that seemed to have worked so rosie it like stabilizes in the air and then you yep. can glide and everyone her. in this building's having a really bad day a really bad day <laughs> 
<laughs> you know the worst part? They're all gonna have to go back to work. They're they're not gonna get <laughs> exactly. No, there's no way they get the rest of the day. No, they're gonna no. have to sit in like soggy chairs the rest of the day. <laughs> yup. Because Dave's um, a real hard ass, and he has it's almost the end of the quarter, and they have a bottom line to meet. Screw you, Dave. Work life balance, <laughs> man. Get a life, Dave. <laughs> I actually got the mug that says world's best crossed out worst boss printed on it. You yeah, know, and, and he loves it. That, proud of he it. bought that mug for himself. Uh, <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> right, now we I'm have gonna... to make Dave. Dave has to exist in this Dave world now, and we have to world. kill him at some point. <laughs> All right, uh, Dave. Can we just he... frame Dave for Claxton's murder? <laughs> Hey, you, maybe, Dave. Maybe Dave's the one that stole your uh, your stuff. Uh, you don't know. So anyway, you you all make it back. You throw the, you open up the back of the van where Clarity is, like doing her hacker thing, uh, drinking a centaur, and uh, toss the, uh, toss the garbage bags full of frozen body parts in next to her. This is not why it I saw was today. Clutch, going. Claire. Oh, um, well. Hey. Well, like right after that, while they're all heading back to the van, um, can I spend my other hold to manipulate systems and uh, go ahead and put in that the body was incinerated in one of the other incinerators the same day? Okay. Uh, I'm thinking whether that would be another systems. I just, I have to always double check the. Yeah, no problem. The difference between compromised security and uh yeah no i think that's gonna just that'll just work uh so yeah while you're in there too uh you get back into the incinerator uh protocols and i think you put in like an additional task that uh was accomplished on the incinerator like the last task on it uh and add in the uh incineration of bio waste unit 3123 uh whatever designation Two, four, six, it had. Nine. yeah <laughs> uh and uh yeah you add that to the work list cool got Ro that taken care of <laughs> rosie comes back to the van just like spits out a finger uh <laughs> ew yeah, add that to the bag. I'll just stick it in the bag. Does I don't she know that Choke is upset by fingers. <laughs> do that? What? Is that... Let's get home, please. Mm. <laughs> all right. Uh, and you all take off. Heist successfully accomplished once again. Uh, you know, stolen from somebody under the guise. So many of clutch rolls. So helping. many clutch rolls. Yeah, that was very good, guys. Uh, so you have your body, and step one of this. I wanted. To, I was gonna say convoluted, but I don't think it's the Cockamamie. most. Cockamamie. Yeah. Cockamamie. Yeah. Uh, I think what the words you're looking for for this plan are very and good. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the two words. I've forgotten them. Uh, yeah. So you have your your first step of your very good plan. Uh, accomplish. Uh, this I think one we're is called Operation Very Good. <laughs> Operation Very nice. Good. I'll write it down. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and take our break here uh, before oh, you guys wow. get into framing people for murder. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging out with us. We'll be back super soon. George is going to grab a drink and do all of our break things, and we'll see you in a few minutes. So, Stay tuned and check out our cool break screen. It's got all the art on it and stuff. All right, okay, bye. I was muted. Hi, welcome back, everyone. Uh, thanks for hanging us with, uh, with us on our break. Uh, for some reason, it muted me when I wasn't on that screen. What the hell, OBS? Uh, professional as always. Anyway, let's jump right back into the uh, the game. So you guys have just heisted 
a body from Ares Aegis and uh, return back to the work. Well, I assume you guys were just going back to the workshop. Uh, so you guys come zooming in on your work fam, having wiped probably the paneling on the side somewhere in transit, uh, taking a couple extra detours, making sure nope, you're not being caught on any or, uh, or uh, tracked on any security feeds, usual deal for arriving back at the workshop, coming, gliding into the bays, then shutting the gates behind you. Um, what is the next part of your plan? We gotta get that guy in the freezer, for one. Choke <laughs> takes the body and goes to beginning to Let's stuff it, in, it the freezer. in the freezer. She has so many guns that I imagine Choke is like one of those people who can like Tetris pack any car. <laughs> yes. Or freezer. Or freezer. <laughs> Uh, she hum. Yes. Does she? Okay, perfect. Maybe Choke in her spare time just like does sit around playing Tetris sometimes. Just and yeah, I can just see that 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 sort of Zen <laughs> level where you get on Tetris where you just you're not you're not really there or have to think about it. You, you just, see the universe. Yeah, yeah. just blocks are like, going. That is the only video game she knows how to play or the name of. Nice. Oh, man. The things you figure out about your character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just want Art of Choke just, like, laying on a weight bench, like, upside down like this, and just, like, playing Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> on, like, an old, 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 old school Game Boy. Like, oh, yeah. the, the gray brick. Yes. Gotta work all your muscles, including <laughs> this one <laughs> and these ones. <laughs> never know. Especially these ones. You never know. <laughs> Someone take this away from me. I killed a man with this thumb. <laughs> so I put the body in the freezer. <laughs> okay, you put the body in the freezer. What's next, y'all? Uh, okay. Um. So we have our body, and now we have to figure out how to make everyone think that the body is Klaxon, and also fuck over those assholes that stole from Scooter. So let's find out who fucked over Scooter. We may have to uh, may have to hit the street on that one, because. I mean, it's oh. black market and crooks and such. So, um, if I must, I must. Is someone gonna come with me? Yeah, we maybe we should grab another car though. I mean, the garbage scow here, the Tortuga, is not exactly the vehicle to be pulling up in. Oh, fair enough. Do you have someone you can borrow one from? or rent one you do i haven't used a contact yet you haven't uh, all right um so and i've got it already written down uh his name is chaz chaz mumford and uh he's a he's a rich kid who wanted to play war and i pulled his ass out of the fire multiple times and so Chaz owes me he's a rich like I said like the rich kid who wanted to play soldier and uh, I I helped him through his his time as said soldier okay writing these down all right okay uh, so this is who you are going to for wheel. This is going going to as a contact for hit the street. Uh, I'm I'm no. I'm gonna go to him to borrow a car, one of his dad's cars, his nice like like slick, way okay. cool kind of thing. So that impulse can look cool when she uh, when we we go to the street to 
talk to mobsters. How would that work? Because it's like the you have that thingy that gives you a plus one if you have like a sweet ride, right? Yeah. Does that well, work for you? It works. Yeah, that works for me. But okay. I still have to do the fast talk part. So I would get to roll my negative with the car's positive. So I'd only be at plus one anyway. So I might as well play chauffeur to you and you can then, you know, schmooze the, the mobster types. But I, I just have a plus one anyway. So will you, can we do that? Can we, can he, can he give a plus one to me? For In the, the car? For the car? Uh, I don't know the, how the move works. Yeah. What the... um, it's called second skin for me. And it's it's basically do, 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 when you try to uh, can you expand these windows? Oh, <gasps> you can! <laughs> All right. Um, act under pressure. Yeah, when you're jacked in through a neural interface linked to a vehicle, if you want to mix it up, play hardball, interfere with someone. Um, where's it at? Oh, I guess that's not not part of this. It oh. must be a different move okay. that I don't have currently. Okay. You can hold on to Chaz then. You can use it for something else. Okay. Yeah. Well, you guys are going to have to go to a contact to, for Hit the Street anyway. So um, you can either, we can hold on to Chaz for another time. You can come up with a different contact that you would go to for this sort of information. We could say Chaz is the person that you're going to for this information. I mean, whatever you, whoever you um, think. He's like a yeah. fancy boy, right? Yeah. So I don't know if he'd be mixed up in the mob at all. Well, I mean, or he's the best he cover for that. If he likes really fancy cars. Sure. Let's say that's how his family is rich. Okay. There, his dad is... They made. Yeah. Gotcha. So you're going to, you see, you're hitting the street with, I assume, Impulse going with you. Is anyone else going, or is it just the two of you? Joe and Claire are going to hang out, do their own thing. Y'all y'all have a drink. Hang out. I imagine there's other legwork <laughs> you guys could do for this job, too, but it's up to y'all. Uh, yeah, I'll stay. I'll stay with Clarity. Okay. I don't uh, think Choke likes leaving her alone in the house. Disappear for a week again. Or break something. <laughs> uh, so so we are right. taking the Tortuga, the, the hover tank? Yeah. All right. That's fine. Works for me. I mean, literally, you flip on the switch and change what what it is and then, you know, pretend to be the repair guy. So it seems to work. Um yeah, it's super broken. Gonna have to figure out something for that. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, <laughs> ah. yeah. <laughs> Too damn me and my cleverness. Um, uh, yeah, this, no. this this van is Sean's uh, fire alarms. Uh, yeah. <laughs> vans are too Sean. <laughs> fire alarms are too savvy. The two of you jump in the Tortuga and go cruising on. Uh, I'm gonna say because Chaz probably doesn't doesn't really sound like he lives in the dredge. Probably lives more in, like across the bay, uh, in the nicer part of town. Maybe like right on the edge of it. So kind of between the two helps with like mob work that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna assume they live on their own. Probably if they've already served and live, so it probably has like a nicer apartment or some sort of like flat. Um, in this uh, area, so you got you come cruising in in your uh, hover tank, uh, which definitely stands out in this area. Uh, there's a lot of like sleek uh, black and and uh, like chrome cars uh, that are like parked neatly in rows. The streets are clean as you get like a, a cleaning bot comes sweeping by and. Uh, everything is nice and orderly and well lit. Um, it's just cleaner here. I imagine Impulse looks like she fits in here a, a lot better. As you guys come out of the car and you uh, come walking up to Chaz's flat, uh, hitting the the ringer uh, on the door to let you in, and there's a uh, a bit of a 
a pause and a wait, and then uh, you hear a, a click on the intercom, and you hear kind of a sleepy voice. Go, um, <clears throat> yeah, what? Is, what is it? What? Jazz, Jazz, it's Claxon. Dude, Claxon, where are you? What are you uh, here I, for? I, I need some info, man. Listen, I'm not selling weed anymore. If that's what you're looking for, I, like, no, no, it's not no, really my no, thing no. now. Not, 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 no, no, I, I, not that, dude. Like, really, I need, I need some more underground type info. Oh, you know. Well, we about, definitely shouldn't like, talk about that over the intercom. Uh, so yeah, I'll let, I'll let you, I'll let you up. Come on up, Rock. And there's a buzz, and the uh, <laughs> the gate opens, and uh, two of you get in the uh, get in the lift and and head up to the top floor of mm. this uh, this complex. Uh, as it the, the door opens, it actually leads like walks out straight into this massive flat uh, that that sprawls on the entire top floor here. Uh, and there's nice furniture and couches and it's all like open and there's a kitchen off the far side but it's just it's just plain not a lot of decorations uh and it's just dirty uh like <laughs> beer cans pizza boxes uh it's it's not well maintained uh and coming out from like the room in the far back you see wearing some kind of uh some sweatpants and a uh a tank top that's uh, kind of torn on the sides. It's, it's a t-shirt that just had the, the sleeves ripped off of it. Uh, it's a little kind of like beefier and, and uh, uh, looks like he's probably been sleeping. You just woke him up even though it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Do I have to ask the question? What? Is he attractive? Yes. Uh, yeah, like surf, like, yeah, I'd say, you know, kind of. Surfer, Surfer bro. bro meets gym rat kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, and then we we do the whole core handshake, you know, yeah, kind of thing. And <laughs> dude, it's been a while. I mean, I haven't seen you since like I don't know. It's been like a few months, right? Probably since you stopped selling weed. Uh, but it's all been kind of like a. <laughs> blur since then uh well i mean i like i'm selling other stuff if you're if you're looking for it but i if that's not what you're here we can we can just talk it, about not, that not not today but i'll keep it in you know the old rolodex right uh right. this is impulse hey hi chat and, and like holds out a hand uh <laughs> to, to shake yours and says y'all want like a a brewski or something i've got a few in the fridge and uh like they're mostly cold sure thanks for your uh hospitality and you just like sit anywhere just like the just push the stuff off the couch it'll be fine and he goes uh over to the uh the fridge and pulls out a couple beers and comes around uh uses her clutch to like move dirty socks <laughs> and t-shirts and just very delicately sits on the very end of the sofa. Hmm. Uh, so he uh, he sits across from you and says, "All right, well, uh, what 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 do you need? What do you need, bud?" So, it, do you remember Scooter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember Scooter. Yeah, Scooter. Well, wait. Yeah, yeah. I remember Scooter. He he runs a you know a little bit of an operation out of Vegas and. Uh -huh. Uh, well, some of his stuff's come up missing. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Jeez. So we're hoping that you might know someone who knows someone who knows someone that might know, know what something. Happened. Yeah, maybe. Oh, you mean like now? Okay, right, right. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, let me just like make a couple call. You said, you said S scooter, right? Give him the info, like he had a shipment, like the whole thing. Right. 
<laughs> and he says, "Let me just let me just make a call." And he, he uh, heads uh, like kind of walks over the side of the room, and you see him hit uh, like a panel on the wall, and like starts scrolling through it and starts going. So uh, let's go and roll for style. Uh, okay, I will roll, and then maybe you'll help. Yeah, uh, oh, I can help. Oh, please. No, you I can't. can't. What is the Shit. roll? Is that a five? Five. five. Uh. Damn. Experience. <laughs> okay. Uh, do we get experience in this one? On a fail? Yeah. Yeah, yeah on a fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just nice. happened so rarely. You guys roll so well. Uh, he, uh, yeah, we'll do it this way. Uh, he comes back and uh, he says, all right, so, yeah. Um, I, so good news. I, I know what happened. Um, so it looks like there was a, um, uh, a truck that got boosted over, like, off the bay, like, down away, like, over near where you, your, your place is, um, it, uh, well, there's, like, a gang that runs out of there, and they, they take, like, high-end tech and sell it off to, uh, you know, people who can't afford to buy, you know, you, you know, you, you know what I'm saying, I don't, know, don't need to get into that, so, uh, the guy who took it, um, I don't know if this is his real name, uh, but he goes by Rick Steele. Okay, Claxon doesn't laugh. <laughs> GB did. Um, Have we heard of this Rick Steele before? Uh, how often? Mm -hmm. Impulse. Uh, probably both of you. Uh, yeah, it works out about your era. You, you have heard of... of this person uh sort of a low level uh gang leader uh has like a small group of goons that they boost cars and stuff i'm mostly has worked on just like petty larceny kind of stuff and and runs like a chop shop over in uh uh over in the dredge a couple blocks over from where you guys work you haven't really butted heads but you don't really work with them too much um you have heard from, heard of them though says apparently he has some like beef with scooter uh i i don't know what it was and took the took the truck as like collateral i guess but scooter uh, didn't know that it was him interesting so he just screwed him over anonymously all right fine i guess and well great okay so yeah, we can track down Ricky then, I suppose. Cool. Cool. So thanks, Chaz, man. It's good seeing you, bro. Yeah, it's good to see you. you wanna stay like the game's gonna be starting soon. You can say and then we're having I'm having a party here tonight if you wanna like come back. Um I would have invited you if I'd thought about it. All right, we'll we'll, we'll yeah. keep it in the in the you know Love schedule. To. Can we bring some friends? Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. If yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So Great. I'll see you tonight then. Sweet. Sounds good. All right. Catch you later, bro. And he comes up and like, <laughs> hi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we skate. <laughs> All right. You leave. Uh, so, you guys get back in the car, uh, head back. Anything that's going on with Choke and Clarity? Yeah. I think Clarity has like 20 DMs from Phoebus and doesn't know <laughs> why. <laughs> and that's what's going on with Clarity. Yeah. And Choke's being really nosy about it. What's that? Uh, 
a bunch of messages. Are you gonna read them? I don't know if I want to. I mean, I guess I might, but like, then I might have to respond to them. And I don't really feel like talking to people right now. Really relate to that. Yeah, people suck. Where are they from? Oh, uh, Phoebus, I think you walked by when I was talking to him last week. I wonder if it's about that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I could tell him that the mission's already done and I didn't even do it, but like... I don't think it's about that. Uh, should I open them? You can open, like, one, just to see. Okay, she clicks on, like, the first one. <laughs> Okay, God, I gotta come up with these now. Uh, yeah, the uh, the first one I think it's just, I, I think the first one if you're like going just just chronologically yeah. the first one they sent uh, it's just like, hey Claire, hope your trip's going well. Uh, let's talk soon. Okay, thanks. Bye. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't open the rest of them. <laughs> Just a lot. That's just a lot of is messages. That, is that twenty over like two days? I mean, I told him I was gonna be out of town, so I don't know why he thought I would checking these. Yikes! This is suspicious. Maybe I should kill him. I can help. No, that'd be messy, though. And then I'd be in trouble with Oracle, so I guess I shouldn't kill him. I mean, we could just not get caught. He's a nice guy, though. I don't really want to kill nice people. I don't know. That's a lot of messages. When's Impulse coming back? I could use her, her thoughts on this. He's good with people, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Extremely. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you want to just scare him off, I got you. I'll worry about this later. It can't come back to bite me, can it? Nah, no way. Nah. We should probably be working. Yeah. Do you still have that Tetris game? Yeah. Do some competitive Tetris. Okay. I don't know how that works, but we can do it. We'll figure it out. I'm gonna hack Tetris. Sure. Whatever makes you happy. Okay. You and that's Tetris. what they do. Yeah. And that's what we do. <laughs> we have nothing else to be doing. You can play Clarity. competitive Tetris, yeah. by the cool. way. <laughs> Clarity. Clarity sets up Tetris to play competitively. <laughs> okay. And that's I love what get back and we're just do. sitting there playing Tetris. <laughs> Not talking to each other. <laughs> Hi. We're back. Hey. Are you what are you what you doing? Playing Tetris. Is that a euphemism or are you like you're no, literally like, you're you oh, can oh. you can see it. It's right. It's on the Clacks screen. Points. I, I I I don't I don't know what that is. Um. So. It's a game. Uh, oh, great. Um. So we have a name. Um. Ricky Steele. That little shit. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> fake. <laughs> you know, they're like, they work a couple blocks over. They just like you know. Take mm -hmm. stuff off trucks. I mean, yeah. we should have just thought of it sooner, honestly. Someone stole stuff from a truck. Who would have thought? Brick that steel. Makes, that makes sense. Okay. So, how do we frame him for murder? Hmm. Can you get, like, copies of his fingerprints or something? I can think of a few ways. Sure. Just 
put them places. Okay. I don't know. Usually, just do actual crime. Well, then you should know how to like fake one pretty easily, then, right? I don't he, really think about I it. Mean, we need to make sure he doesn't have an alibi if he's not going to physically be there. We lure him there. And then he's at least in the place that we set it up to have, like, whatever the explosion is or whatever. Yeah, Ooh. that's good. You leave a button for the explosion with his fingerprint on it, I guess. I mean, honestly, like, you just, we set up a meet and then just leave, like, a red button and be like, press this. And I'll probably fucking do it. Yeah, he doesn't strike me as a super intelligent guy. No. Hmm. Should we burn the fingerprints off of the body that we have? Good I mean, idea. We kind of plan on blowing the whole thing up. Yeah, but just to be extra safe. I can go take the fingers off. Just crush them. No, if there's just no fingers at all, that might be suspicious. They find body parts and no fingers. I mean, well, maybe just it'll assume... just make him look like a bigger weirdo. <laughs> I mean, either that or, like, they associate it with him, like, with, like, organized crime and stuff. Claxon, do you have any tattoos? Mm, no. Okay, good. Then we did don't have you to just get the check? dead body tattooed. <laughs> he did. He did check. I just think getting a dead body tattooed might be a little difficult, so I just thought we might double check. All right, what? You want me to just file the fingerprints off? Yeah, or burn them. I don't know. I don't know how dead bodies work. Acid? Do you just somebody have a, a lighter? I, I, yeah. Everything is so complicated sure. with all of you. And it literally Lighter. is like a little blow to the freezer. Like, like, Do we need to pull his teeth too? Oh, fuck me. Come on. It's just a suggestion. We just won't. We won't take that part. Hey, let's figure out how they identify bodies and we just won't take that part. And then everything else will be burnt up. Fingerprints, teeth, and eyes. Cool, cool. So, so no fingerprints, no teeth, and no eyes. We could leave some of Claxon's teeth behind. Okay. I'm not using I mean, all of them. Well, it's up to you. I mean, I don't want to steal your teeth or anything. I mean, do you have a wisdom that's, like, bugging you anyway? I can just pop it out. What are the chances that I still have wisdom teeth? I mean, they really do. Like, you don't even have to pull them. You just, like, it's like you put a pressure and they just go, boop! We don't exactly have dental. <laughs> if you got them, you probably still got them. All right. <laughs> Roll for wisdom teeth. Claxon <laughs> <laughs> goes and gets, like, like weird, long, hooked, uh, uh, needle nose pliers and hands them to choke. Uh, it's like, Claire's no, like, oh no, I was kidding, but if you're really into this, like, we could do it. Yeah, just take out all the actual teeth and just leave one, like, real one, and then they can identify him by it, right? Yeah. I do not get paid enough for this. <laughs> wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. No. No, we need to leave all the teeth. Because isn't it, like, dental records? But, I mean, if there's an explosion, I mean, the teeth would be blammoed. And if they just find, like, a couple of teeth that are mine, my actual teeth, I mean, that's quite the sales pitch, I think. Can you pull DNA from teeth? Yeah. Me, I have not I watched Criminal Minds in so long. <laughs> <laughs> Can we have clarity check of the uh, the technology level of the... <laughs> How to commit a murder and get away. I'm trying away. to remember <laughs> if I did any sin sims. I'm just going like, to throw out an idea shows. that maybe someone has. <laughs> it's that it, the teeth and stuff might not be the best idea. If you drain the blood from the body, take some of Claxon's blood, put it inside the body. It's what they did in Batman 3. <laughs> 
<laughs> as as Claxon's leaned back, and it's like a light, and, and Choke's got pliers wait. in his wait, mouth. Wait, 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 what about blood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's probably going to be a little bit. It's not going to be that bad. It's just a tooth. <laughs> no, no, you, uh, <laughs> let me, let me rephrase. Um, let's take some of Claxon's blood and then stick it in the corpse's body. That'll work. Oh. They're probably heartless. Okay. These are good players. I got all kinds of crazy players. Working on drones is tough. Also, the other part would be, and and probably Clarity would know this too, whether or not she'd think about it. Uh, and Clax, you'd probably know based on your tech, uh, your your neural tech that the stuff they're looking for has your like is is the data is personal to you. So if you copied that into the other device in this the device in this body that would provide further evidence if we're even gonna leave it that much intact they can pull data from pretty much anything yeah so i guess i'll go ahead and work on copying the data (laughs) come on (laughs) claxon trodes on his head do we have like needles and IV bag or whatever we need for this. Wait, I have another question. What if, if we're going to copy the data from your head into this other piece, why don't I just take the piece and give it to them? <laughs> <laughs> you guys wanted to fake his death. <laughs> well, no, I mean, we needed the body anyway because it had the thing in it. It is a repo job, so that would actually complete the job you've been assigned to do. <laughs> now I'm saying the body heist was still 100% a good thing for us. It to was do. necessary. You actually don't need the rest but of the body. What if we don't actually do the rest of the plan <laughs> and we just take the piece and we copy his stuff into it and I just say, here you go. And you think back to the crates of tech that were on the left side of the room. I, I thought of it at the time, and I was like, no, we're in the middle of this. I didn't know copying it was an option. No. <laughs> Guys, we're so good at our jobs. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Chat we does point just... out, though, you do have a spare body now. In case you yeah, know. I was going to yeah. say, we could just... Keep the oh body in the freezer. <laughs> I'm, I'm crying. Listen, oh my God. Joke has never claimed to be a smart woman. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, right. Identical piece of equipment. <laughs> Instead of all of this other stuff, just take it, copy the file, I'll take that to the warden. Then I have to do less explaining. So let's do that. <laughs> But, but how do we? But how do we fuck over Ricky? We could just kill him. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> just say, "Fuck you." Stay away from Scooter and his business, and beat the shit out of him. If and I'll beat the shit out of him. Then if he ever, we threaten him and say, "If you ever get back into this business again, I'll fucking kill you." Well, we could also get some stuff for Scooter back, or like new stuff for Scooter to sell. Mm-hmm. Because that was okay. kind of the main thing he wanted was his stuff back. I don't know if he cared about beating up who had it. I mean, I'm sure if it was me, I would really want whoever stole from me to get beat up. But like, you do both. Rough I'd, him up. Get him a I'm little. I'm realizing crack. I'm very good at repo jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Clax- yes. Clax- Simplified <laughs> flat. Get, gets the reciprocating saw and cut cuts it out of the skull of this other guy. And so now then we, we have the tag. And then we, we have a spare body. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh. Is there like a serial number we need to change on it or anything? Burn it off. You know the scene okay. in the original Jumanji movie where the kids <laughs> running to the to the uh, to the shack to get the axe, <laughs> yes, takes, takes the, the axe, axe and starts trying to beat the shack open with it, <laughs> and then, and then realizes the he ha- realizes he has the axe. Then try- <laughs> that's the moment that just happened. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 it is. You yes, have the is. thing you need. 
<laughs> Stop trying to beat the door open with it. That's amazing. Not saying that yeah. I had thought about that either, but <laughs> so that'll we be got there. That'll be we got there in the end. That'll be Claxon's oh part is is trying to reproduce the the serial number from his own skull, and then uh, Clarity could transfer the the material. Choke can deliver the product, and hopefully. Uh, now I want to go fuck up Ricky, though. Can we go fuck up Ricky at the yeah. very least? Yeah, we're going to do that anyway. Okay. Uh. All right, you guys going to do that now, or are you going to the party tonight and doing that later? Oh, yeah, the party. Well, what? do we want to hobnob and, like, get some connections with, like, organized crime? Sure. Also free beer? Oh. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Okay. That sounds fun to me. Okay, like, we'll just, we'll have a couple of brewskis and then we'll go fuck up Ricky. So, we turn in, you, uh, how about, you want to Oh, you do your repo job first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's probably first. It. Do we okay. need to roll anything to transfer the data or? Uh, no, I don't think okay. there's We just anything. do it. Yeah, you just do it. You have the tech for it. You had already got <sighs> that tech in order to do the first job Is you guys had. Is this a pity had. success? <laughs> you, no. you, you, just, you, did it. <laughs> you just I still think stealing the body was a hundred percent the right move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Okay. We needed the thing in his head anyway, I guess. Yeah. And now we, we have, Chad is exactly right. We have a spare body. Who knows when you need that? It's just We're gonna good. live in the freezer now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh <laughs> Okay. So, what was the name of the bar? The Chasm? Is that what it was? Operation Very Good Plan. <laughs> Operation Very Good Plan. Operation <laughs> Very Good Plan. <laughs> Living up to its name. Uh, <laughs> this is... Uh, an I would upgrade it to Operation Incredibly Good Plan. <laughs> I'm crossing it out and writing it in right now. <laughs> All right. Uh... So... <laughs> You all, you all jump in the van on your way to the party, and you stop by the chasm where you know Renata hangs out. Uh, I need club music. I should have gotten that, too. I, that's my list of sound effects I need. Uh, yeah, just keep doing that. Uh, the uh, I assume choke. You just run in to turn in this job. Yeah. I try to be casual about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Renata is actually sitting in a, uh, let me at least change the music to something a little more like, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Renata is currently sitting at like a, in like a booth, um, that overlooks like on the far side of the chasm. There are a bunch of these booths like set in the wall that all look down upon like the, the pit fights that happen here. Um, and you get in, you ask a couple questions and people point you over to where uh where she is currently hanging out and um as you uh come in you actually uh yeah this would work uh you as you're coming in you see something as you're coming across the bridge of the chasm you see renata's booth and you see her speaking with somebody um and the person looks uh familiar uh they are dressed in i had like a really sharp red pantsuit uh, have uh, red hair uh, kind of comb like pinned back in a bun you actually met this person once before uh, Miss Scarlet Scarlet yeah um, and you see them talking and they they exchange like a brief conversation and as you're walking across and you see like the crowd you're kind of moving through it you see, see her get up and leave uh, and you come around to uh, the booth and uh, Renata's taking a drink and looks up and says oh, I forgot what Renata's voice was Does she have a voice I mean she had one <laughs> I just remember I, my instinct was that it was Russian but I don't think that's right I don't uh, think that's she no. can be now though it's your universe maybe she changed it <laughs> sure sure so a, <clears throat> this isn't gonna turn out Russian Please don't. Okay, here's. Can we backpedal a little bit and have you not do Russian up against my bad Irish? Yeah, let's not do that. As you're just gonna make it generic. She says, "Oh, choke." I'm a popular one today. Come on, sit down. Got your stuff. 
That quick. Hmm. They've been looking for Klaxon for a while on that. Uh, Pop the thing on the table. Actually, she wouldn't call him Klaxon because that's his street name. So he's looking for this. She just say, they've been looking for this guy for a while. She kind of takes it and looks it over. She says, you don't mind. I'm going to have, I need to check just to be sure. It's just like a professional nope. thing. Right. Go ahead. Uh, flips out like really kind of high tech. Uh uh, uh, data pad that she has on her uh, arm underneath her sleeve. She rolls up her sleeve, uh, flips out a screen on it, and it runs a uh, this blue scan line over the device, uh, and it kind of beeps, and she comes back up with it. She says, checks out. Carl Jackson. Service record here. All right. Well, hopefully didn't give you too much trouble. No. Good. Uh, well, uh, that makes a square then. I'll, uh, get this turned into the right people and, uh, call it Favor Ode. Favor, Favor No Longer Ode. And Good. I won't ask, uh, or pry any further into why you were asking about the, uh, area security over at the, uh, South Bay Arcology. Then... I want to ask who that redhead was. Fair. You want to stay and watch the fight? I've got somewhere to be. Yeah, go ahead then. I'll be here if you need anything else. Next time. Next time. All right, you have completed the job. Um, I'm gonna give you all XP for that. Hey, we worked really hard on it. <laughs> and some would say too much, but <laughs> Clarkson, I'm leaving hunted, but no longer actively hunted by okay. Aries. Uh, they're not. I mean, I'm leaving hunted just because if they ever found out that you were still out there, they would be. But uh, for right now, you're sort of in the clear when it comes to Ares. Uh, they think you're dead. They yeah. think you're dead. Yeah, I would, if you guys had any ticks on the Ares Aegis clock, I would have reduced it by one, but you guys are clean with them right now. So we're uh, we're good. You guys have uh, successfully completed that job. Knocked out a few things along the way. Um, and Carl Jackson is a dead man. I'm dead. Woo! I'm dead! Yeah! <laughs> uh, so Choke comes back out, loads up into the van, um, and you guys head over to Chaz's place. Was there any conversation you wanted to have? I uh, just want I'm just going to kind of like lean over to Impulse. Do you remember Miss Scarlet from a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. Do we know who she worked for? It wasn't Ares Aegis. I don't think we knew, actually. All we knew was that they were stealing info from Soma. So, probably not for Soma? Was it an inside job? She was in that bar, talking to the contact of mine. It gave me the job to get the thing I have clacks and said. Really? That is very interesting. She gets out her little notebook and starts to jot down. So Miss Scarlet at least knows at least knows Renata, if not works with her directly. We can look into that. Just thought. Are you wearing that to the party? What else am I gonna wear? I have that jacket for you. I hate that jacket. It's but hot. you look so good in it. I hate it. I don't like it when my shoulders look that broad. It's the style. See, like I'm like three times my size right now. I can mm. wear the jacket. You're also like under five feet. Sure, Claire. Do you want to wear it? It's I mean, so in season. Will it fit me? <laughs> 
Um, Choke and I aren't exactly the same size. It's okay. I work the oversized look anyway. I mean, I can make some alterations. I, I'm just tying them back though. Again, it's it's vintage. Clarity just puts the jacket on, but just leaves it like off her shoulders, like her other jacket. It's like, yes, yeah, like... and it's huge on her. <laughs> okay. I, I, can I, can I can work with this. I can work with this. Sleeves are like floppy. She'll like she'll like roll up the sleeves, but like you know, very very couture, like you know, like ruching, like it's on purpose, and and you know. After she does all this, Clarity just looks at Choke and goes, "You know, I don't like this jacket either. I don't think I'm gonna wear the jacket." Just give, just give it to me. Just give, <laughs> just give it to me. Here you go. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't really like it. It smells kind of weird, huh? It's vintage. From what year? 2170? I also did wear it to like... Kill a man? <laughs> yeah. Choke wears everything to kill a man. That doesn't count. Fair. So whose party are we going to? My man Chaz's. Uh, he's, he's got money. It's a, it's a nice flat. There's free beer. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not complaining. No, but I'm wearing this. Fine. I'm just going to be doing some laps around the room and networking, so, you know. I'll meet you at home later. Let's go! Oh, are we here? <laughs> you all, you, you just pull up to uh, <laughs> uh, the fancy apartment building of, of one Chaz... Uh, Mumford, right? Yeah, Chaz yep, Mumford. Of the Mumford family. Of the Mumford mm -hmm. and Sons. Uh, <laughs> oh God, Mumford and Sons is like this horrible, like murderous Modern, gang. Modern yeah. Mafia guns. <laughs> Built on a folk music empire. Who's the little lion man now? Who? <laughs> you are, you are. <laughs> they've got those, they've got a set of those weird pliers. <laughs> Oh man, uh, you all loaded to the elevator <laughs> and make your way up to the apartment. As the doors open, you're uh, confronted by a crowd of people, all uh, it, like house music playing, lights flashing, uh, everything is sticky. It's yeah, it's about it's like a frat party uh, more than anything else. Uh, not sort of like a sophisticated socializing event. Uh, and uh yeah it's just like rage you're gonna hear right now oh and yeah when we when we went to get out of the truck to go into the party uh jackson un unzips the the vest and it just kind of becomes part of the seat that that he flies in and then he undoes the coveralls and steps out of the coveralls and he's got like you know bad cargo shorts on and and just like a normal person type t-shirt underneath his his pilot coveralls and then uh when you leave the boots no he puts on sandals he's got a pair of sandals like under the under the under the pilot seat and he, he pops wear them those on socks? uh no but he doesn't usually wear his boots with socks either so oh, um, no. <laughs> a, are you a frat order. boy disguised as a driver no, but I knew we were coming here. <laughs> oh, okay. D dressing for success. I can, I can get down with that. Sure. Pointing to the cargo pockets on her like tactical pants. <laughs> I can told you. Nux. <laughs> Let's do a lap before we decide on a location. Come on. Uh, what so is you... she talking about? A lap, a lap, you know, like walking in a circle around the room. I guess. I guess. I just I... watch. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> I do my lap. I see if there's anyone I recognize, anyone interesting, any persons of interest, anyone that might be trying to kill me actively. You know, any of that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think you look around the room uh, as you're making your way around. It's. I. I mean, I need to be really honest here. How many people have I slept with in this room? Oh boy. <laughs> I think I might have to work out of percentages. Uh, 
<laughs> just statistically, it's got to be. Statistically like, speaking. I mean, now, at least. Do you do you travel in that underground mafia? She goes Jersey? everywhere. She's Jersey. an investigative yeah. reporter. Right, she goes all right. everywhere. All right, all right. Then I think it's just this is just a, a subsection, like a, a slice of the city, uh, and we'll just go with like twenty percent. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I know see, who to avoid, who to like say hi to. You, see, you okay. see a couple of people that recognize you. Some people get it come up like a little bit clean, like hey, like, and then you sort of press ah. them. Yeah, and like uh, some people that I like want to avoid. Like, okay. Yeah, uh, and finally, after like you guys make the rounds, like following impulse, like through this crowd of people, it's uh, not very many people you want to like necessarily rub shoulders with. They're on like a lot of higher ups here. It's mostly like low level uh, mafia types um uh you do find chad who's uh like talking with a couple of people in the corner and like kind of amped up he's got uh actually it's like a collared shirt on but it's completely unbuttoned um and uh yeah he just like turns around he's got a hat, hat on that's like wearing it sideways it's the future so there's probably like two hat i don't know it's just the one hat uh, <laughs> Double brims. He's just think. wearing a deer stalker, but sideways. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the. I love Chaz. He's bro. the best character in the game. <laughs> bro, fashion of the future. Uh, oh turns out says like, uh, and says like, Clax, and like comes up and <laughs> elaborate handshake, and uh, so he's like, it's good. Oh, these are the friends you were talking about. Cool, cool. Oh, hey, hey. It looks like you impulse like, hey, again. Uh, sees the other two. Hey. I'm Chaz. Clar and like shakes your Clarity, hand. Clarity, joke. Chaz shakes her hand too. Hey. My handshakes are scary, so. <laughs> okay. Do you shake with the robot arm or do you shake with the regular arm? Oh, no, I think she shakes with the regular arm. Okay. Still, Still scary. scary. Still scary. <laughs> But as strong as that handshake is, it just leaves people wondering, like, oh, what can the robot arm do? <laughs> it's a whole thing. <laughs> Clarity's, it's a power favorite, move. Clarity's favorite move when she meets new people is just acting like she can't see at all. So he holds <laughs> out a hand and she just stares the, straight ahead. Oh, yeah, dude. He, uh, here, and <laughs> he'll, like, put, take Clarity's hand and because <laughs> they've done this before and, like, put her hand in his oh nice to meet you do you do you need to do the the face touching thing no not today i think we're good all right cool nice to meet you too Jazz. yeah nice to meet you yeah clarity cool uh y'all cool. so, uh, you, all, uh you, you gotten a drink or anything yet do you do, do you need anything we're, we're we're just doing a lap Claxon says, <laughs> trying to be cool and not knowing what it means. Cool. We'll cool. Actually, in. Yeah, actually, uh, come over. Like, I, I've got someone to introduce you to. Um, and he, like, uh, begins to lead you, uh, like, through the crowd. Says, so you were asking earlier about, uh, about, about uh, Rick, Rick Steele, right? We were talking earlier. And I had a cool idea of... <laughs> I should invite him to the party, right? Uh, and as he comes out from the crowd, uh, looks over and you see there uh, standing, like I think this is like on a balcony uh, with about, you see about 10 or so uh, pretty rough looking individuals uh, all wearing like leather jackets. Some got like spikes on them. Uh, some got like face tattoos and stuff. Yeah, they're just like edgy, badass people um and uh standing in the middle of them wearing a uh a blazer has uh i think it's a leopard print blazer with a hmm, what else would rick steel wear like a a silver like a shimmering silver like almost transparent t-shirt uh or like a, a like a shirt underneath um and he has a very well coiffed mustache and uh, mutton chops. Uh, and uh, he is uh, has a cybernetic uh, like a, a plating on the side of his uh, on the side of his head, uh, kind of similar to like Renata's. Uh, and 
Jazz comes through and says, Yo, Rick, these were the ones I was telling you about earlier that were asking about you with like the scooter thing. And uh <laughs> and Rick and these goons turn to face you and you kind of have this awkward like exchange and this guy uh and Chaz turns and says, See, like I, I got them here, so you can just like talk to them, right? I'm awesome, Chaz. I Thanks. would like to assess this situation Buddy. if I may. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Joke is just standing behind everyone, just saying to herself, I'm going to fucking shoot him. I'd like to remind you, you rolled out a six gun. earlier uh, on that roll. Him. Yeah. And uh, this, is uh, yeah. The, this is the outcome of that. I'm going to shoot <laughs> all of them. The seven seven uh on assess uh, you get one hold okay so you can ask that question at any time you can hold on to it for a bit if you want to okay hmm what do you think y'all I'm kind of interested in what do I notice despite an effort to conceal it. That sounds interesting. Mm. What do y'all think? Huh? Yeah, that probably, could be probably good. a good call. Okay. Yeah. What uh, what do I notice despite okay. their desire to conceal it? Yeah, I think this one's probably pretty. Uh, that's probably a pretty good question. You uh, you're looking them over, and Impulse has, you know, worked on the streets for a while. Also, good sense of fashion. You notice these things. Uh, you're noticing some like weird bulges and stuff around their jackets and thing. It seems like most of them are packing heat. Um, they're they seem like they're armed. Uh, so. That's they they're clearly trying to conceal weapons. Just like into communicators, like everyone is armed. So let's take this roundabout for now. Uh meanwhile, down on the Tortuga, the top hatch goes <laughs> and pops open and Rosie comes hovering out. <laughs> okay. You guys are on the balcony right now too. So Exactly. That. Yeah. Uh as Chaz is looking like really pleased with himself here. It's like, that's <laughs> good, right? Um Hey Chaz Sterling, could you give me a brewski, please? Yeah, definitely. Does anybody else want anything? Oh, I'd like one, please and thank you. Right. Okay, so four or uh looks back looks like over towards uh Rick's group says I only have two hands. I'll get you guys something else if you want. I'll get orders so when I come back. Be right back, everyone. And, like, goes running, uh, or, like, pushing his way through the crowd. Uh, and, and he can't get that high. <laughs> if he takes his shoes off. And, and um, Claxon thinks, amateur, you carry three in each hand at least. Exactly, right? Uh, at this point. Joe is looking at her hands like, do you know how many beers I can carry in these? <laughs> Uh, at this point, the guy I comes. Kill as a bartender. No. Mister Mister Steel himself comes walking forward, uh, kind of closing the gap between your two groups as his goons kind of circle around, uh, and uh, comes forward and kind oh. of like. I will do the same. I'll like sort of mirror <laughs> the best dressed walking forward with other people <laughs> behind them. Back me up, please. So uh, I'm here. And you're looking for me. Oh, of uh, course, Ricky. As, as one last little detail, can his lapels, the triangles on the lapels, be like gold plated, like yes. triangles? Yes. Like they're made yes, of yes, yes. metal. Yes, and they're exactly. Shiny. The plating on his head, the, 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 the uh, dermal plating, that's also like a gold plate. It's not actual gold because he can't afford that, but it's like okay. it's gold plated. What is he Zoolander? Like <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, that's a good He's answer. Derek Zoolander. <laughs> So you're working for a uh, for scooter, huh? I wouldn't exactly say that. Huh? I hear you asking about a uh, little business that uh, scooter and I had, had. Looking into that. Yeah, we were uh, we were actually very curious. Um, 
We were interested in potentially getting in on that. Is that um, something that you're looking for? I'm also deciding as a toothpick in his mouth. Uh, of course he go, does. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that's so irritated with me for this character. Uh, he go, just has like one of those little round things that's full of toothpicks in his pocket. In his pocket. Yes. Them out yes. And, and as the, needed. All the toothpicks have been soaked in like cinnamon vodka or something. Oh, so they're, God. They're okay. I hate that. this guy. This guy has to die. I hate they're him. All have that, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He wants you to think it's cinnamon vodka, but it's just fireball, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah there it is. No. There it is. Uh, go ahead and roll to fast talk. Okay, okay. I mowed one, guys. I mowed one. Come on. Okay. Mm. Ten. All right. On a ten plus of fast talk. NPCs do what you want. Okay. Says, kind of takes the toothpick out of his mouth, flicks it off the balcony. <laughs> it hits Rosie on the way down. Especially <laughs> down below, someone goes, ow, shit! No. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Stop making these character choices that just make me giggle. Uh, <laughs> what you got against Scooter? Nothing. I just don't have anything against good business. Huh. I recognize some of you. You work out of that uh that that workshop uh up the street from uh from my little home, right? Occasionally. Right. Well, I mean, we're, we're kind of full up with the gang here. They don't really need a lot of extra hands right now. It's just a uh, what what do you what do you bring into the table? I mean, just get an eyeful, darling, and I think you can figure that out for me. I can see that. I can see that. That's choke. I bet you can guess for her as well. Yeah, you look like you've uh, broken a few necks in your time. That's Claire. And what's her deal? There's nothing she can't hack. Huh. Okay. And uh, that one there. Clocks? Fastest wheels in the West. All right. So you want to in on a, a little operation then? Oh, darling, I think you misunderstood. I think you want in on our operation. <clears throat> I would What's... like to add at this point in Claxon's multitasked brain, Rosie's like pulled around and it's like targeting lock on the balcony, like like the like the auto cannon is going to cut the balcony off so the whole balcony will fall away from the building kind of thing. And so Claxon is like in this weird double vision thing and he's almost smiling like maniacally because, you know, at any second it's just going to be... Uh, Rick, uh, Ricky, who has just looked to the others like, you know, the, the like, look at it, like, what's, what's she... What, what's the... And then like also is looking at Claxon like... What's wrong with this dude? Hey! <laughs> um, so, what's wrong with him? He's just excited. I don't like By this business like opportunity. That. Clack, stop smiling. And he, he does that. He just puts his hand over his mouth. See, he listens really well, too. Listen, Ricky Steele don't work for anybody. I got my own thing going. I didn't say four, darling. I said with. Well, you got a job? Maybe. If you're interested. I might be. Depends on the job. Our latest escapades brought us in some 
equipment that uh, certain parties might be interested in. And, uh, what, you're looking to fence it? Potentially. I could probably help with that. What's the gear? Clax. And Clax will rattle off some, you know, like remote detonators or something, like with some serial numbers. I'm going to have Clax unroll. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> yep. Nope. Uh, that works. To, uh,. I'm trying to decide if it'd be a fast talk or something else. <laughs> Get to it, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> you come to me on the day of my distant wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Somebody please kill this NPC. You made him. <laughs> Do this more. It seems you like a good him. idea. This is your son. <laughs> Yeah, I rolled a fast talk. Uh, All right. I'm so bad at that. Oh, oh not today. Hey! Not today, even with the minus. Can I help? Can I bring that to a 10? Yeah, you could. Uh, okay. So help or interfere, roll links. All right, Claxi. Let's do this. Uh, he's real bad, so I can kill this guy. Okay. <laughs> All right, I have a plus. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll my mind since it's the same as my links. That just makes life easier. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Slax. Okay. Uh, well, Claxon is still a. Uh, it's still going to be a mixed success, uh, mixed success. so you, uh, the NPCs do it, but someone will find out. So you rattle off some stuff, and he's thinking about it and looking at one of the goons behind him who's uh, seeming like noting some of that down. Shrugs. Uh, what do you do to help, Impulse? I probably just nod like a fucking bobblehead like way too much, and uh, maybe like, maybe he likes questioning whether or not yeah. I know what I'm talking about a little bit. Yeah. It's... All right. Uh... Hmm. I mean, I'm always looking to do work. It's kind of, you know, I 24-7, 365, Ricky's always working. So I, I, I'm, you know, I'm Ricky's willing to help. That's great branding, by the way. I mean, that's, did you... Have you come up with that before? Is that a thing? Or did you just like come up with that just now? Something I've been thinking about for a while. Yeah, maybe I'll... Uh... Ricky's always... Yeah, it's great. Like, do you have cards? No. Uh, you, might... you, should, you should get a card. Any, anyway, anyway. Uh, how about this? I'm just like, keep him talking, keep him talking. How about this? Uh... We're about we're about to get out of here. I mean, the party's nice and all, but uh, you know, it's a bit bit crowded. How about you come with us? Show us the equipment you have. We'll see about talking talking about deal. Sora looks back at everybody, looks very hard at clocks, and like, come on. And uh, I think we're okay with that. Minus mind if we finish our free beers first. I mean, come on. I don't like to waste alcohol if I can. All right, fine. We'll uh, talk some more business then. Uh, chat. One last thing. Hmm. Spare a lady a toothpick? Well, I just so happened to keep some extras. <laughs> now, I thought you might. Did, did you... Why is he also very blue jeans now? <laughs> <laughs> did you... Impulse, did you mean for Klaxon to like shred them with the auto cannon. I, I thought you said something about like taking out the balcony. Like I thought you were just gonna take but, out the balcony. Yeah, it, it, literally it is in a breaching weapon. I could cut the balcony off of Chaz's the, apartment. Are we on the balcony? No, I think we're No, at, we're in the room. Like they were oh, okay. on the balcony and like, yeah. 
I okay if that's what you meant. <laughs> I mean, I either that or like we're just gonna walk out with them and just take them out. I, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you all, all right. Sure. She's just distract. She's just a distraction. She's just a distraction. Okay. She's a fast talking, pretty distraction. Which that's plan? all she is. Which one's the better plan? <laughs> I mean, the balcony fell, and they fell to their deaths. I, I don't know. It's it was probably going to be gunshots. <laughs> yep. From a literal can. It's a silent <laughs> auto can. It's, no, it is definitely <laughs> tagged loud. Um, yeah, loud, loud area and breach, I think, mm -hmm. is, the, is the three tags on this thing. But, but that fire could come from a rival family. I mean, Chaz's fam. Mm. in the thing who knows where it came from some of you guys are discussing this in a series of elaborate like facial tics <laughs> we turn I around like we get our beer like <laughs> clarity is translating it from, from Chaz has come like, back and given everybody Morgan, a are you drink. okay <laughs> Chaz has come back and given everyone a drink and then I'm looks worried. like are you alright you look like <laughs> You look like you're about to explode with laughter, and I love it. I'm so <laughs> concerned right now. <laughs> Just, all right, yeah. I light up the night. <laughs> okay. Try to cut the balcony off the thing. All right. Um, what would the role be here? <laughs> all right. So I think this is mix it up. Uh, you get to add things to mix it up with your... Did you get to roll with synth instead or something like that? I believe it is I get to roll with synth instead. Let me look. Uh, I, I'm i I'm cool either way with it. I, I, I would have to actually look at the book because I cannot remember. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what your thing is because you've got that special ability you were reading off earlier. I think it said something about when you yeah. mix it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, you mix it up. It's normally roll with me. Oh, so. that's with, yeah, it's roll with uh, your car's power, but I, this is a drone. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't know. Uh, I'm good with either. Okay. I What's would say your... synth because, I, I mean, I'm not actually using my body. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that then, and we'll figure it out in post uh, okay. if there's another rule for it. That makes sense for me, though. Yeah, because it says use cyberware under synth, so that would make sense. Yeah. A nine. Nine for mix it up. So on a seven to nine, you choose two. So uh, you either make too much noise, you take harm, an ally takes harm, or something of value breaks. The something of value can't be the that oh. can't it isn't <laughs> the balcony. It isn't the balcony. <laughs> it isn't the balcony. No, no, no. That that yeah. That, um, um, why don't we say that the uh, auto cannon totally jams up. It gets the job done, but it but it totally like roaches itself. Okay, so something of value breaks. We'll do that, and then what? You gotta choose one other. Oh damn! Uh, mix it up, mix it up, mix it up. I will look at the list. How much damage does it do? Five, and it's breach and area. Yeah. So um, choke. You want some XP? <laughs> you want to hit me with the cannon? Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. How much armor do you have? Two. Okay. This could be bad, though. Uh, Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I can take it. If it makes it work, and they all fall, I can take it. All and right. you get XP. So five harm, right? Yeah. Oh boy. So you trigger it all as you're all sitting there having your drink and Chaz comes and says, Oh yeah, I'm gonna go get drinks for everyone outside. So that's one, two, and as he's <laughs> counting, suddenly there is a as the cannon explodes. <laughs> and you're hearing all of the like just just 
just an explosion in your ears. The sound is deafening even compared to the music. Uh, you see chunks of concrete flying up from the from the balcony uh, as it's just shredded through. Um, as the shrapnel uh, gets kicked up, choke, you throw yourself in front of uh, like clarity and impulse and kind of like get yourself between and them. And Chaz. Uh, and Chaz. <laughs> and Chaz. Uh, we love and, him. We love Chaz. Uh, and a little bit of, oh, I think there's a, some stray fire as the gun jams and, and uh, Rosie overheats. Uh, there's a little bit of stray gunfire and uh, you take a shot from this auto cannon uh, to the back and you just, you feel this white hot pain almost cripples you for a moment. Uh, so you take five harm. And I'm gonna armor. Need, I'm gonna need you to roll the harm move. So I only roll plus the harm that I actually took, right? Uh, let's see, yeah. Alert! 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 <laughs> it you says, only roll plus the harm you actually took. Okay, so I get to roll, but I get to subtract my meat, which is two. So I only have to roll plus one. Okay. Jeez. So I'm just gonna roll one of my stats. I literally am good at one thing. Yeah. That's my faceless character from earlier. <laughs> Well, here's the thing, guys. Oh, boy. I did roll a 10. <laughs> All right. So on a 10, you choose one. Look. You're out of action. You take the full harm of the attack. You lose a use of a piece of cyborg until you get it repaired, or you lose a body oh, part. Not my fake arm. Get knocked out. We'll drag you out. Get knocked out. Oh, that seems bad. I really don't want to be unconscious for what happens. I have a Microtronics workstation just to remind you. Oh, she can repair shit. Clink. One arm stuck. Shit, yeah. It's just bust stuck up. in a punching position and you just yeah. have to go like this. Yeah, bust out my cyber arm. Yeah, well, I think part of it, so you throw yourself in, uh, in front of them and then you, you're you blocking. I think the bullet that hits you, that like it traveled through the cyber arm, which just like panels of it explode off to the side. Like it is just a hunk of metal now hanging off of your shoulder. Um, yeah, it's very bad. Uh, so yeah, your cyber arm is almost completely destroyed, but it keeps you from dying uh and <laughs> choke is not looking good you then hear a crack as the balcony kind of it didn't it like it didn't fully cleanly cut through so it sort of twists and you watch as a couple of the goods go falling off of the back and then it kind of breaks i do think that uh ricky and uh two of the people he's with managed to like scramble up onto the balcony just as the whole thing cracks and falls off sending like eight others tumbling below and Chaz who's standing there with a couple of drinks in hand one just falls to the floor and shattered he goes not again I think it's time to go uh, Parody just without looking grabs a glass and like is like thanks <laughs> Ricky, who's standing there now, says, uh, looks back and then looks to all of you. Uh, no, we're going to run screaming. Like, oh my god! Like, yeah, like, freaking out. Like, thinking it's like a hit. Like, get the fuck out of this party. Yeah, because I just got shot. Uh, she just yeah, got you fucking got, shot! You did. Uh, I'll... Ooh, yeah, I think this will be one more fast off from Impulse. If you fail this roll, I am diving at this man and pushing him off of the balcony. So it's win-win, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm saying that's the other solution. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I will take uh, my dead arm and just fucking swing it at him okay. like a flail. <laughs> this one. Okay, here we go. Seven. Okay, so again, NPCs will do it, but someone will find out. All right, so he, I think Ricky draws a, a gun, sees all of you, and then looks back and says, we got to get out of here, and then goes running with you and, like, the whole crew uh, running outside. So he doesn't know, he doesn't have any reason to suspect that it's you currently. Um, so you come, uh, you all pile towards the elevator. <laughs> And there are not, a, it's a, it's just a panic uh, as everybody's trying to make it and then like goes busting out through the back of the, the apartment of the stairs and people begin to file down the stairs and stuff and it's a panic and eventually you reach the streets as everybody's scattering out. You're hearing sirens off in the distance as uh, 
panic is beginning to rise from whatever this this hit just was. Um, where are you guys going? You going to the van? We're going back in our van. If okay. he's following us, Split will we'll be in touch. Just don't get caught. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. Just, all right. Yeah, good idea. Uh, and because come on, boys. And they all go running towards their cars. So like two of them that are left. <laughs> yeah, the two that are left. And then a couple, like they look devastated and they're looking uh, looking around and, you know, it's like, not Davy. And you know, like they're all like, <laughs> oh, no, not Davy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, if Davy is just the like nickname of Dave from oh, earlier, fuck, fuck that Dave guy. Really. We got him! No. Yes, we got him! <laughs> we did it! We did it, guys! We did there you it! go, crossing the NPC off my list. Uh, no. High fives all around. Woo! <laughs> all right, uh, you guys load up in the truck. Uh, Rosie uh, is I'm debating. The gun breaks, but I'm I'm yeah. debating whether or not she. No, we'll just say the gun's broken, so she can make her way back to the to the van. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right, and then uh, yeah, as soon as we start pulling away, like yeah, I think you know, in the panic, we start pulling away. Swampy Sam comes on the on the boards, you know, like uh, like ooh, we were just in the neighborhood. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> Incinerific is uh, Randy's repair, and then Swampy Sam's is just, we were just in the neighborhood. We were just in the neighborhood. Just in the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> it's Swampy Sam, the, 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 uh, the sewer man, is, is, the, is the actual code on it. Right. I think Eddie. there's this moment where, like, I think Choke has been, like, acting mostly fine just based on, like, pure adrenaline and, like, you know, throwing herself in front of bullets to protect her entire squad. And then once they like get in the van, I think it's like, oh no, I'm bleeding very much. <laughs> like, oh no. So Cho kind of like slumps down in the help, seat help, a bit. Help, help, okay. help, help. Get, Clarity get her. gets her Microtronics kit out because that's what she knows how to do at the very least. <laughs> and okay. uh, starts working on the arm. I don't know. How to do that? I don't either. I can't repair. find anything about doing repairs. I'm sure it's somewhere. Uh, I actually think it might be a between mission sort of thing. Uh, I'll look it up. But you start working on that. We can figure that out before the next session. Uh, and is somebody patching up the the, the bleeding? Yeah. The uh, what are you at clockwise? Twenty one hundred. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, and I have to. Well, no, I can. I can multitask. Uh, you can do everything, Claxon. So yeah, I'll grab the trauma patches from the overhead compartment and uh, try to uh, patch her up. Okay. Uh, that was a cool roll. Okay. Uh, for. First aid? Yeah, yeah, for first aid. Sorry, I was looking at something else. Yeah, roll plus cool for first Apply aid. Apply first aid, because I keep Apply. not being able to find I it. Keep, I keep looking under F for first aid. And... Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, so your harm clock was at 2100, so you can yes. reduce this as by two segments. Oh. <laughs> and Cla Claxon's back in, in, you know, in... in war war mode basically it's it's got a patch because basically that was his thing was he drove the troop carrier kind of thing so it was constantly them just pulling bodies back in and him like i gotta drive and fi fix people at the same time yeah so i'm imagining like because her leather jacket is armored so like i imagine if you take that off her back it's just like fucked <laughs> yeah uh okay it's fine now i'm great i'm basically fine You marked your experience too, right? I did. Good. I got experience at getting shot. That was a good. That was a good choice of directive, I think. <laughs> when so in I, doubt. I am checking for the I, cyber, <laughs> I am checking for the cyberware. I think the role for that is go under the knife, um, for extensive damage to to cyberware. Uh, so you have to spend cred. 
in order to fix it and then you role play so i'd say with clarity what was the what, what was the item that you said you had the microtronics um it's microtronics workstation and it says you may perform field repairs on electronic and cyberware electronics and cyberware yeah it really doesn't give you any more for that so yeah i would say you could uh Yeah, we'll figure out the exact. I'm, I'm gonna debate for a second how we're gonna work it out because it was pretty badly damaged. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's based on the extent of the damage. Like, I think it's when it's really bad, you might have to go under the knife to have it like fully fixed. Uh, if it is like just minor, then I don't know if you have to roll for it. Uh, like I said, there's not really a good roll but i think you're gonna need uh so you can you can do it you're not gonna need to find like a tech to do it or some some mm -hmm. person to do it for you uh but i think you're still gonna need some uh you probably have to spend some cred to get the materials you need to fix her okay uh, to fix her arm um so mm -hmm. we can do that next time but for right now choke does not have her arm you guys are driving away from the scene of a murder uh and i mean it was it was a octuple homicide uh and uh chat i think we just get the last scene the whole room is cleared out and Chaz is just standing at the edge of the balcony with a beer in hand looking out at the destruction and just my dad's gonna kill me uh <laughs> And that is uh, that's the scene we we leave on. So I think that's where we're gonna wrap it up for today. Uh, come back next time to fix choke, get rid of Ricky Steele. I mean, we fucked Ricky up. Like we could literally just go to Scooter and be like, "Dude, we fucked him up." Yeah, <laughs> you do still need to get the stuff that he yeah, we stole. Get the stuff back, though. Uh, but most of his. Oh, we're gonna are... get it back. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> now uh, it's personal. <laughs> Uh, so we'll figure out that later. I'll research the repairing things because there's got to be a instructional on that somewhere. But yeah, uh, let me do some less intense music. Uh, thank you, everyone out there. That's both at the same time. That's terrible. Uh, thank you, everyone out there for watching. That's what Ricky Steele listens to. <laughs> Just overlapping synth music. I really like the way now it's personal, even though it was really technically Claxon who shot you. <laughs> yep. I'm glad I'm against Claxon. I'm really glad. It was glad. still his fault. Yeah, exactly. No, she's uh, not going to blame him for that. Look at, listen, Ricky Steele didn't do anything to y'all. Choke gets shot and stabbed like a lot, you guys. And again, Claxon couldn't do it because he's dead. Technically. Yeah, technically speaking. Uh, so first I want to do a reminder because we know I, I don't know if anyone hit that they would hit any of their uh, their drives I forgot what the name for it is directives is that the name in it this game uh, I just general reminder if you hit any directives in, in the game I'm, I'm going to try to put things out there I have I have some written down that I want to hit to give you guys more opportunity to hit your directives um, I mean I got one of mine it was taking being damage. Yeah, yeah. yeah that one's easy uh, I have not been well. We haven't run into any powerless people, in my opinion. So not yet. True. And I haven't found any good shit about catechism yet. Yeah. So not yet. And I'll and I'll remind you guys if there's anything you want to do to push yourself towards the your directives in the fiction, you know, do that too. I'm gonna try to put things out there to give you guys more opportunities, so everyone gets a chance to do that. Uh, let's also do our. Uh, you want to say history but it's not history links um get that pulled up so for those of you watching if it might be your first time watching the links uh is something you do at the technically at the end of every mission but we are changing it up a bit to do it at the end of every session um and what we do is each player chooses another character who as a result of the mission has a better idea of how your character operates um, so I, you can, and that character will increase their links with you by plus one. Uh, does anyone have any that just spring to mind or just go around? 
Clarity? Um, I think Clarity grew close or to Choke. Okay. Um, because they played Tetris together and hung out for a while. So Choke is a better idea of how Clarity operates because she kind of saw how like Clarity's yeah. world instead of lounging around playing video games. And all those messages. And all yep. the messages. He's starting to get a little concerned about okay. this Phoebus character. <laughs> God, you guys are gonna murder Phoebus too. <laughs> oh, poor kid. No. Uh, okay, so Choke, you increase your link with uh, Clarity by plus one. Oh, we have three now. Oh, nice. If you get one more, then uh, does it do... roll over like Apocalypse World? Yeah. So it'll it'll roll over. We'll play a uh, short scene about like your characters, like changing some sort of pivotal moment you make out and then <laughs> uh if you want to uh and then you get uh experience and reset your links to zero cool. so uh yeah uh so that's clarities uh does anybody else have one i think Claxon got to really see impulse like talk shit a lot, like a lot this session, like a lot, like going to Chaz and then like the whole thing and then like looking back to Claxon, like fuck me up. So yeah, <laughs> I'd say, I'd say Claxon. Okay, so I add one to Impulse. Yes. Sweet, all right. I'm also gonna say Claxon. Oh. I was gonna say clarity until that whole last scene happened, <laughs> and I had to uh, take the collateral damage that he caused, and I think that is a moment of like, uh, I don't know, like maybe probably this realization that she's not just like I'm just here to kill stuff, like. Who kind of cares about this group? Um, like a little bit, maybe. Mm. Like, yeah, I think there there is probably this moment of like, it didn't have to go down that way, but it did. And so she kind of like took the brunt of his collateral damage. Sure. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then Claxon. Oh man. Um Yeah, boy, oh boy. That's really I I don't think this this was the first time I think Claxon and Clarity didn't do a lot together. So it, uh both of those things going the other direction are very cuz I mean basically basically Impulse gave a kill order. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was just like Claxon was like, "What? Are you sure?" Okay, doke. <laughs> um, but also too the big, uh, I mean, choke actually like taking a bullet for everyone. That that's big. Yeah, Let, let's go choke. Okay. Uh, so choke, you also increase your links with Claxon plus one. Impulse is an unknown. No one knows. <laughs> uh, and she's gone. Cool, so that's that. Nobody's hit plus four yet, but we got at least one of you that's close. Uh, all right. Almost best friends, Clarity. Uh, all right, cool. So that's the game, everyone. Uh, you guys make running this super easy for me. Uh, just, I have to do so little work for this game and I love it. Um, there are moments leading up to every Friday where it's like, I should prepare something. And then I think back at our last session, I go, nah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, we will be back same time, same place next week to continue this. We'll see, answer all of these burning questions. Will Choke get her arm fixed? Will they kill 
Ricky Steele, will Clarity go on a date with Phoebus? Uh, these questions and more next time on Neon Souls. Join us throughout the week for a lot of other games. Uh, we got all sorts of fun stuff going on. Um, tomorrow will be our next stream. Uh, that's going to be Saturday Night's Apocalypse. Uh, that is the, uh, we're playing D&D 5th Edition. We are playing the Prince of the Apocalypse campaign set in a post-apocalypse version of the Sword Coast. Uh, I run it and it is ridiculous whereas this game is ridiculous because you guys come up with ridiculous stuff and i occasionally do a weird character voice that game is ridiculous because i come up with really dumb things there's there's a lot uh so yeah come join us for that that's at three o'clock eastern time uh tomorrow and yeah, rest of our schedule is the same. Follow us on Discord, or join us on Discord. That's where we do most of our talking about our games. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us here on Twitch. If you've been watching this whole time and the stuff that you like, uh, hit that follow button. We appreciate it. We appreciate you for doing that. Uh, and you can watch all of our other fun streams. Um, anyone have anything they want to plug, promote, before we call it for tonight? Your days are numbered, Ricky. <laughs> watch out. I'm not even going to promote anything. That's the best end right there. <laughs> yeah, I think so. No, plug, plug. I was being stupid. Please plug. <laughs> uh, Sunday morning, 10 a.m., uh, Greybird Tavern. Uh, I will be playing Deep Sky Derelicts. We just started, so it's a good time to jump in on it and uh, and hang out with us. I get to play with all my toys, and, uh, and we hang out and BS about just everything. Yeah, so join, uh, join GB there. Uh... I'll plug my new shows real quick. Yeah. Yeah, so we had a premiere today, GB and I did, over on twitch.tv slash encounter roleplay. Um, we're playing Apocalypse World, which is like this, but the Apocalypse. Um, it's powered by the Apocalypse game that I'm running. It's called Diesel Punks. Um, it exists in a post-apocalyptic Diesel Punk setting. So I run it, GB plays in it, and uh, some other fun friends. Um, Rob from Slang 101 is in it, um, and a couple of other friends that we love very much the premiere today was legit really awesome and uh it'll be up on youtube soon we're gonna be doing that for the next few weeks so friday afternoons at 3 p.m eastern time come hang out with us and then starting uh next monday it's the 17th so not this coming monday but the next monday at 8 p.m eastern time on twitch.tv slash cobalt press um i will be over there playing in a game um, that is going to be uh, using their new deep magic supplements. It's D&D 5e, but the supplement that they have recently had come out, it's on Drive-Thru RPG, it's on their website. You can also get it, a version of it for Roll20, which is super cool. Um, buy it. It's got like 700 new spells for D&D. It's also got cleric subclasses and whole new schools of magic and warlock patrons and um freaking wizard schools and it's really awesome and if you're into that also there's a setting too attached to it it's called midgard um there's a whole world book and there's also a hero's handbook which is like the classes and like races and stuff that come out there's a ton of cool shit in there um so we're going to be playing that i'm going to be playing a cleric called phoebe who's obsessed with the moon <laughs> so it's going to be really fun but yes yeah, so that's next monday um 8 p.m Eastern time. We're going to be doing that for a long time. It's like a 16 week run. So come hang out with us. There's going to be, I think the party is a wizard and a cleric and a bard and a sorcerer slash paladin. That's what it is. A bunch of glass cannons. Damn. <laughs> We're going to be great. It's going to be really good and fine. But yeah, come hang out with us. I'm really excited. And it's a good book. Buy it. Yeah, uh, I think half of the channel is bought it at this point, so you'll definitely be seeing spells from it all over the place. So many spells. All right, we have run over time, uh, so I appreciate everyone for hanging out. Uh, we will see everyone next week. GGK branded toothpicks, eventually. Uh, and until next time, good game and good night, Internet. <laughs>